It always looks goopy. Got that little quaff coming out? Yeah, I got some little quaff coming out. My, uh, my thing there, I got to turn my headphones off. This is a shit show down here. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Hope everyone had a good Easter. Uh, Garrett is here. Jesus is here. He has risen, Mike. He, is he has risen. risen. Apparently. Zombie uh, Jesus Day, as some people call it. Zombie Jesus. Yeah, yep. well, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair, Zombie he Jesus did rise Day. from the dead. <clears throat> um, I know the White House wasn't allowed to acknowledge Jesus at all, but I thought that was the whole point of the holiday. No, we had acknowledged Jesus in my house. I knew what the other holiday was, but... Yeah, I know they didn't... They were. They made the, the trans thing. Yeah, trans called. day of visibility, you know? Visibility, they yeah. haven't been visible enough in the last couple of years. No, no, I've got a, I've got a list of their visibilities today, Oh, I, so, I think they got too many visibilities. Yeah, a few too many. We'll, we'll go through them. We've done it before, but I think it's... Uh, I, I think it's um, fair on the what is the, the week surrounding trans visibility um so we'll get to that how was your guys's easter good yeah great Jesus. yeah really Any, good anything fun i mean did you get a basket from the bunny the, you know look i'm i will say a sentence about it and move on because no one cares but it was I all care. about kaylee you know oh, she had her first oh, yeah she had yeah. her yeah. first all the fucking fun man had her first e e egg hunt we fucking put the eggs down in the basement hid them and she got excited did she yeah she actually did we of were course. honestly all of us were wondering how long if she'd look at like one and yeah. no she would we put about 10 out there in there and she found them and that was, was there fun. candy in them what was in them well no what we did last week she really likes these fucking beads every time we go there we have these just beads and she always puts them on so yeah. we put them in the eggs and i thought she likes rocks i but i know yeah it's all right <laughs> she likes, i wasn't gonna say anything she really likes rocks so i fucking thought well what if we paint these rocks pink so we painted a few pink rocks okay and some beads and threw them in there so we picked yeah. them up she'd shake them so yeah. that was fun oh, that's fun yeah, that's that was cool. Fun. Did it your was. mom get you anything? Yeah, Under I mean, she, my mom didn't even buy. She gives me a card with yeah. some money. Believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> I tell her I need this. I, I would take that. From I my take mom. it yeah. every time, but I do. Well, how much for, money? I'm not gonna get into the amount. Come on, hundred dollars. Okay, <laughs> no, I, if you would have said a thousand dollars, I'd have been yeah. like, okay. I, but I didn't know if it was like when you were a kid and she'd give you five dollars. Yeah, you know, I'll say this though for anyone that cares. I never, I literally, she asked me, even Christmas these last few, like, you I don't say want no. Yeah. And I, I, and I know people won't believe it, but I have told her verbally, like, hey, I get to live here. You guys are really good to me. I don't pay yeah. anything. It's, I don't need anything. I really yeah. am okay. But she's a mom and she likes to give shit. I guess, yeah. So. My mom did it for My mom's years. the same way. Actually, she still gives out Easter baskets full of candy and all yeah. sorts of stuff. And she hides them in the house, even though I'm 26. My brother's 21. So well, we run around that, the house looking for baskets. That makes yeah. me feel better, to yeah. be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> honestly, I love it still. My mom loves holidays. Yeah. So does mine. And now that she's got grandkids, she spoils the fuck out of them. Yeah, yeah, I, have to wait for I don't exist anymore. So I don't get one. My mom was sick this weekend. That's why she's still okay. in town. She's leaving Wednesday now. Gotcha. Oh, we've moved her flight five times. Man, Bob's going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. been waiting on that. Uh, been cock blocking too yeah. long. He <laughs> called me a cock blocker. Did, were you here for that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was bad. It was ugly. Uh, apparently, this is two years in a row I've cock blocked him on his anniversary. My too, God. Because last year, this month, I was having back surgery. And Man. so it was all like, these. Uh, uh, are you sure these are real issues or are well, you making I, them up? No, I don't know. I, I'm certainly not trying to cock Becoming block a pattern. My man, but. Yeah, it's not good. It was crazy. I almost canceled the show today. I almost texted you guys and said, guys, I can't do it. I had five crews here today. Yeah. yeah. I had Scott Jones, who's the pinball dude, fucking awesome, and I can't not talk to him for no. an hour. Um, and he had to move these so we can get into this room. The painters yeah, are I didn't here. Even notice that. Yeah, yeah, they're in the yeah, studio right now. Just two giant flashing I, pinball machines in the yeah, corner. I know. Yeah, they look. Well, I'm used to, you know what it is? I'm used to. Oh, seeing you can't them. even. You can only. You can barely see venom. Yeah, you got venom me. on the corner eased. I guess yeah. I'm used to seeing them, and for some reason, it didn't strike me as odd that they were over yeah. there. I thought he was just gonna have to stack them or something, and oh, they, be they'd wild. be unusable. But he's like, dude, I can get these in here and playable. I'm like, all I got to do is be able to scoot around that corner and get to my seat. No, you got plenty of room. And there's plenty of room. So it's actually where they should have been all along. Probably, right? Like, this makes it, yeah. Yeah, we I need like to it. get a, uh, we need to get that overhead camera running again. So then you can, you yeah, can we can get a pinball both. shot. Yeah. When I go to Arizona, I was talking to him today. I'm like, dude, we've got to get a pinball because whatever studio I build, I want it to be dope as shit. Oh, and, hell yeah. And, uh, and he's like, fuck yeah, let's, we'll, we'll get one down there for you. And, uh, and um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. So I was talking to him. He's got a brick and mortar coming soon. I haven't talked about it because it, it hasn't hit like, all the all the plans. There's so much shit you got to go through with city planning and all the people. You oh, know, I know. Pull permits and all I that I spend shit. a lot of days in the uh, permit pooling oh, department of buildings. <clears throat> yeah. 
So there's all that stuff going on, but I'm really excited. If you if you're a fan of pinball, that's gonna be it's gonna be very cool. And he's just super passionate about it. And um, so we'll we'll give you more. Is it gonna be like he's selling them, or is it gonna be like a it's place gonna be like go a spot play. you go nice. and play so like, an and, and, like he showed me the plans, like with tables. It's gonna be cool as fuck. Oh, that nice. will be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be very cool. Drinking and yes or no? I, you know, at first it's hard to get a liquor license. Yeah. So we were talking about doing a TDC event there. And inviting monsters out BYOB. Yeah, and just have like a closed building. We yep. can all no, go it's a there, private yeah, event. Yeah, private event and play pinball and all that shit. So I don't know. There's a few few balls in the air. We'll we'll play it by ear because it's kind of been thrown into shambles with my stuff. But I had glass guys come and replace a couple windows. Josh has been here. David's been here doing the floor, tile of the floor. Yeah. The painters are upstairs. They just <laughs> like everybody just left, <clears throat> and I was like. I can't cancel the show today. I can't do it because this is Isis's last time, <laughs> last show ever in this studio. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Yep. Fucking and crazy. So I don't want to play Brian's song and get weepy, but no. it's been 12 years. Well, I was 10, saying, 11, I was saying to you as I came, as I walked in here, I was thinking about it as I was driving here. And I, I guess for some reason I got the math wrong in my head when I was thinking how long it had been. But yeah, I, t I started coming here on a regular basis, October of 2013, which I was fucking 29 Were you so. here? <clears throat> I did one Drew episode. Okay, so for the Drew cast. I did one Drew cast episode. So that would have been in like August. Yeah. And then Clark and I started in you, I thought you were, no, you started? Did we start right away? Right we away might've. because you guys, I remember one of your first things you were covering was like talking about the fucking Dream, Cru dream Cruise or something. I feel like. Okay, I feel would have like. been July, August. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so you came and just came to like for hang one, out. Yeah, same first. thing for an episode. And then yeah, and, and then, then and then you started coming. And Clark started, lasted three months. What do we do? Seventy shows. He went to something like yeah, that? something like that. He went to January, January ish. Okay, <laughs> so right, whatever. Bonnie then, died or whatever. Yeah, Bonnie. died. <laughs> that's how it started, the right? The dog yeah. died, and then yeah, that's right. Yeah. Bonnie died, and he was such a mess. And it's yeah. like I, I remember thinking at the time, like, dude, we're trying to get something off the ground here. I mean, I know it's your dog. Yeah, I love my dog to death too. I'd be sad, but you can't take two months off to this yeah. where it's like hey you, you might know, get paid he's soon. not a young buck ready yeah. to fucking he had enough money so it was like it made it easier to just be like no oh, my dog oh i get down. that yeah for sure i do so, understand that um but yeah that's how it all went down man yeah so i was 29 to me like when i was thinking about that today i yeah. was 20 fucking nine when i, I know, was started dude. coming in here it's crazy and it's now crazy. i'm 40 i can't even fucking almost believe that it's insane it feels like it's it feels like it's a million years ago and also i not well, that, not like a million years ago. You're, you're yesterday. freshly shorn. Your beard is gone. Right. Your hair is cut like nice the, and clean cut today. Like a yeah. retard, by the way. Who did your hair? You did My you dad? just put a bowl on it and cut across? Yeah, I will say I got the Fady special, the Mike Fady special. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I he like, just he he gave up on the front. He just no gave you straight across. I like everything about the haircut, and when he was doing it. He said, uh, I might have done these bangs a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. And I went to the mirror. I said, yeah, that's not great. Yeah. But it might have been a half day, but that's okay. Yeah, you got to keep it simple, man. Yeah. Five Whatever. on top, two on the sides, three and, one. Yeah, yeah. This isn't about looking good for a job up north. This is about, I don't want to have to cut my hair and pay for it. I don't want to pay $20 fucking dollars to cut my hair, dude. They, <laughs> dude, I feel bad. I know these people, they're, they, it's their job. It's their living. I'm not trying to say that don't. You know, it's not worth paying. It is worth paying someone to do it. I, not for me. Yeah. If I have someone yeah. that will do it for free. Well, you've got, you're lucky. You've got, you've got these um, flowing curly locks that you can get to just kind of mess up. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to fuck your hair up. Your right. dad did a hell of a job. He tried. Yeah. And did he's, successfully he's done fuck better, your hair up. But he's had better cuts. Honestly, he has he had has. ones that were been better. Because since COVID now, my dad's cut my hair. Yeah. He's the only one that's not. Well, that's whatever. One yeah. time. But. Basically, he's still cut my hair since for yeah. four years now almost. <laughs> um, someone like me, I can't do that really yeah. because I've got cowlicks all over my head. Yeah, and it sucks, and it's very, it's very fine. I have it, but it's very fine. Right, right. So it's a pain yeah. in the ass. No, and yeah, I'm just but, cheap. That's all it is. So I wanted to come down and do a show uh, today because Isis was not planning on being here today. We were, we were going to do one Thursday, but I, I just had too much yeah, shit going. Yeah, no, I get you know? that. And so Ease is like, if you can't do it Thursday, I'll come <laughs> and I'll find a way. Cause I had so, to. I, last you... time in the studio. By the next time, you know, this studio will be gone by the time you get back. Yeah. And I'll be gone. I know. It's so, wild. Dude. You know, the, the idea yeah. of like, you go up north for a few months and then come back, join yeah. the show whenever you want. Exactly. It's not is, happening. It's not, you know, it'll have to be like a Zoom. And so 
all the shit we've done in this studio. Easy. Just, I'm just like years. looking to me. I'm looking like where the original t- table was, and then, and then the, there's then the other one, there. and now here, and now into this one. Yeah, it's crazy. It's wild. There's been a lot of shit. You passed out on you that floor me. for yeah, yep, a day, and then went up on the couch and the bed upstairs yeah. for a day. I mean, nights I've I've slept in here back when D Mac was doing his shows here yeah. late at night. They're here to fucking oh, do yeah, that. Oh yeah, that's shit. right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we would do shows in the morning at the time, and like yeah. D Mac and shit, man. The, the fucking charity things where I'd be up here twenty. And crazy, dude. Just I miss the old a studio with the memories. big gay flag behind E. Oh, did we have a yeah. gay flag? Yeah, had a big old gay flag right yeah, behind E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it draped over Lindell at one point? Uh, I think, I think at one point, yes. Was, I think I threw that out. Is that disrespectful? I don't care. I tossed so much <laughs> shit. And I, I, no, See, I'm like one of those free speech I, I guys that doesn't anything. even care if you burn the American flag. So yeah, go well, I get, I get that too. That's a right. That's a first exactly. amendment protected thing. But the gay flag, I think I felt a little bad. Like, is this homophobic? Am I homophobic for throwing this away? Nah. But then I was like, I was throwing away everything yeah yeah two 20 yard dumpsters full of shit it was like all the the um all the fucking hammers that people made right the gavels, yeah you know, yep. oh god dude yes. we had a remember all the ones people dude, that sent one was like 50 pounds or something i swear to god <laughs> dude, remember that spikes one? on them and shit yeah metal ones <laughs> wood ones just sending you meat hand cleavers. carved ones <laughs> the crown is like, spoken <laughs> the crown is spoken boom we had gavels we had the wood planks like dude so much shit i'm like what am I gonna do with all this stuff? Fans would love that I'm, stuff. I'm keeping the key to the city. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like certain things I'm keeping, but Jay's fucking gavels. Remember his wooden shoe? Yes. It's like fucking gone. No, gone. no, no. Oh, wait a minute. I was with the because I brought one in here too. I brought one that I got. I didn't throw made. yours away. Okay. I almost threw your shit away. I was like the giraffe picture. Isis has to have and his Fidel. You know where the, you know I, the I wasn't giraffe, gonna throw yeah. those away. You know where the giraffe picture is gonna end up is in mm. fucking Kaylee's room because I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. She loves animals, but it's, it's a great picture. picture and it's a cool picture. It's got history here. It's yeah, perfect. I showed it to my sister. My sister was over and she's like. Would you mind if I put this in her room? Like, yes, that'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah, I, perfect. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. So yeah, it's perfect. It's so, perfect. No, crazy. I'm glad I got to do it. I'm glad I got to be here. Yeah, and do another episode. You're tossing I... the cardboard, Lindell. I want that. Remember? Oh, it's already is gone. Still around? That's alright. I can get another one. There was because for a while there was there was an unopened box one. Oh, oh really? Yeah, that was brand new in the box, and I. <laughs> That's all right. My girlfriend oh, yeah. works for a prank company. I can figure it out. Oh, I can have them send you one if you oh, want one. Oh, yeah. Do you need some new pillows and sheets and stuff? Anything you want to send my way, yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? They have a policy. They want people that are uh, possibly talking about it to have the shit anyway. So. God's got his hand in this, and I truly believe that. I, I agree. My wife's really going to be upset about this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, now, now you put me on the spot. Come on, they should all be together. They are all together. It's just all hard to read. Really? You just got to hit them. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're all winners. You don't really need to even look. My wife's really going to be upset about this. There you go. (laughs) Um, (laughs) No, but some of that stuff, you're right. Like, like I've gone, we talked about on the show, but I've kind of gone through my, my stuff recently. And it's like some stuff you try to keep, but you really do have to get to a point where you go, okay, I pick five things or very, because it's, we're, we're, well, you're, I'm a sentimental person. I like keeping things, but at a certain point, you have to go yeah. like, "What am I really gonna do with this? What Dude, am I really I've gonna got do?" The, like that TDC thing. G's like, "You got to bring that." That's a that tough. One. That's a tough one, dude. That's so you cool. Had, and um, I know he doesn't listen anymore, but Wolfie used to do the drawings for us. He made a beautiful TDC like wood. Like yeah, sign I've that's seen upstairs. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking badass. I didn't and even think about that fucking big sign, dude. It's got to come with me too. Yep. Like, it, I don't know what I'm going to do with it or where I'm going to put it or how much room I'm going to have, but it's it's coming, you know, gross, but it, it is. You know what's so, good about it, at least, is it does have on top the actual just TDC part. So it's not fully just the Detroit cast yeah. like it does have the But TDC. it's our history, yeah. and it's it's cool stuff. And I, I look at that names on there sometimes and think about the people that used to listen to the show <laughs> and used to care about it and all the people that donated. The legions of fans. Yeah, th- dude, that's a lot of people. What about the donate? guy that basically probably wife got a fucking divorce divorced. for making that six sign? Six months, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, he didn't say it was divorce, but yeah. I mean, come dude, on. Dude, that came in a crate. Months. No bullshit. Shit, a fucking crate showed up on the porch. It was nuts. Yeah, it was fucking like We're a back. Christmas movie or whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> you know, to be, to be completely honest, the people who probably dedicated that much to the show are still the listeners. Like, I think yeah, those maybe. are the only listeners we have left. Maybe. Unless there was a bunch, bunch of liberals in there that probably fucking hate me now, think I'm some, you know, ultra mega something or other you yeah know, the, they they can find a way to pin that on you no matter that's what. right i'm homophobic so we're good exactly the the you're the uh i'm you're the, gay, the homophobe. gay homophobe and i'm the uh definitely independent you know yep. all, all ultra right mega. mega guy so whatever what are you gonna do 
Uh, I just I just call balls and strikes as I see them. Yep. I know they lean a little right for sure. I'm not I'm, I'm not unaware of that. No, but, so do mine. Um, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I wanted to get Isis in here one last time and and do a show with him. There is some stuff going on in the world, I, and I, you know, I've been really trying hard to avoid like, you know, <laughs> trans stories and stuff. But unfortunately, we had a big Trans Day of Visibility, or I guess they canceled the Trans Day of Vengeance after that Daily Wire article. Oh boy, came out. They were like, it, "What do you mean?" Was, they, there was some event called the Trans Day of Vengeance. And oh. Like, oh, it's not violent. It sounds like it, but it's not. And yeah, but at some. <laughs> Bar they were talking. Yeah, I was gonna say they were talking about like starting like a protest and walking and shit and marching. Yeah, which probably no violence, but I know there's some rabble yeah. rousers in there who will make it violent. Sure. And Daily Wire did some big like expose about it. Like this is going on at this place, blah blah blah. And I I, I don't know the full story, but I just saw a headline today that said that that event was ended up being canceled because of the Daily Wire article that came out. So <laughs> I don't know what the details are on it, but um, anyway um. A lot going on. We'll start with uh, something simpler, which is fat people on planes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Classic. I saw the, the creator of Libs of TikTok, which is a great site if you're not on Libs of TikTok. They, what's her name? Uh, Chaya Raychik or whatever, yep. who's a lightning rod now. You know, people fucking hate her. She's mega, mega alt right or something for calling out all this stuff going on in public schools and kindergarten classrooms and any of the, any of the woke nonsense that you see going on everywhere, whether it's, you know, drag queen story hour in your local library for three-year-olds, she's, she's making that visible. And, and yep. the just reason takes it, was, it and post it to her own account. Just that's all. Yeah, no comments, no, no nothing. Yeah, exactly. She's getting a little more out there. She's I've gotten, noticed. Yeah. Have you noticed that she's, yeah. she's starting to comment. Well, like your definition of being like a little, Oh, just, she's saying stuff. She's been getting like, interviewed a lot too. It, yeah. Oh, oh, out there. Like talking about. Okay. Yeah. So it used to be, she would libs of TikTok, but it wasn't on TikTok. It was on Twitter and she would just take shit that she saw on TikTok and post it on Twitter yeah, yeah. with no comments and people still hated her for it. She's like, all I'm doing is reposting what they're doing. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. But then those videos get highlighted and all these people are like getting yeah. shit because of the crazy things they're saying. And we've, we've shared some of it and some of it is outright. Crazy. Isn't that, isn't that telling though? Crazy. Like if someone is just, I'm just saying this is, this is a thing I saw. Yeah. What do you, what, what, do, what do people think about this? Yeah. And, and then, and they then all thought it was so, an attack. No, and yeah. you get so mad. What, yeah. you, what are you mad about? Why aren't these you, people and what? Why attacking, violence? Yeah, yeah, attacking them with violence. Like she just posted the clip they posted. Yeah, and some of those clips we watched. Yeah, yeah. and some of those clips. I remember seeing some of them, dude. Some of them were like the, the one that really got me was the kindergarten teacher who was like, he wasn't, he wouldn't call it mom and dad or parents. He was calling them caregivers or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. And like we we're gonna own your children, and we have we have more say over your children than you. That kind of thing. Um, and I'm paraphrasing poorly, I'm sure, but. It was fucking bad. It was like, holy shit, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is a joke, and it's not funny anyways, but there's definitely a push for people to think like, hey, we know what's best for your children. And, and there's, I don't even bring most of them up, but there's lawsuits where all over the, you know, especially in Canada and even in parts of this country where parents are losing their kids because yeah. some fucking weirdo therapist decided it like, was like, oh, yeah, your, your eight-year-old's trans. We need to get him to a foster care and let them start transit you're like what yep and then how the they hell always do you make the um best? this is the part that really bugs me is they make the excuse like well it's better to have a living son than a dead daughter or yeah something like that, that bullshit that's except been when you're not going with the mental health of the child and you're just going off they said they were trans once right you're hurting the mental health and you're causing right. them to would be a dead daughter and yeah. a dead son yeah and that's been disproved. I, the fact that they're even still saying they're that, still saying you'd rather have still, a dead oh my God, and a live off. trans child than a dead one is fucking outrageous. And I'm not going to go through the history yeah. of what that. But if you're still saying that, you're you're buying in fully and you're a moron. So anyways, Chaya Raychak called out Southwest Airlines for allowing a man she called a massive obese guy to violate their rules and take up half her seat on a flight. You haven't been flying Sunday. recently? <laughs> Oh wow! See what he did there? Wow! Dude. Did you see that attack that I, I just wouldn't was even under? gone that hard. To be honest. Right? That, that was that, harsh. That, that, you sorry. know what? Since I've lost a few more pounds, all right, all right. I'm down well, under the 200 Ozempic, right? pounds. No, I just don't Ozempic, <laughs> you cocksucker. I'm not Oprah. I'm not cheating yet. Um, but I would. I have no. I have no problem. Yeah. I, I, fat shaming though. He's guilty. He's a homophobe yeah. and he's a fat Damn shamer. It. I hope you get fucking huge what one. Just day. accrue a cruel list. Yeah. To get canceled by later on. Um. So, anyways, massive obese guy. 
She means fat fuck. That's yeah. what she means, right? She's just a polite way of saying fat fuck. Or as fuck. Joe Biden would say, fat so. You yeah, know, fat. He so. likes to, that's what he likes to call. What, what, what was the context of that again? The inter- Something the, uh, fat. He, I think you, he challenged him to like a bear, uh, push-up contest or well, something. Well, he definitely did that. Yeah. I don't know if it was that same guy, though. No, it was at that town meeting. Because he the used guy to call people like, Jack all the time. No, this yeah. was at that town meeting, and the guy was the guy was basically a, a like Joe Biden, by the way. And all he was saying was like, yeah, but what's, what's kind of this stuff about your son? Yeah. And he kind of... And he, and listen, he, you're fat. Right. <laughs> listen, you're fat... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and we we finished the thought for him, and it was fat. So he oh, was, yeah, it was going definitely fat. So and that is where he challenged to do a push up competition, though. He is, is, it that, is that the yeah. same video? Yes. It was that guy that he challenged. Yes, to a push up competition. Yeah, He's I done that so. a lot, or sit ups, or something like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this idea of and he was two eighty year old men, like because Trump's done it too, like challenge each other. Yeah. Like, really, we're having physical fitness challenges between two, you know. No offense to Trump, they're both not in shape. I'm no, sorry. Like, I, I think Trump would whoop his ass. I, I do think so. I, I, I think so. Uh, no, yeah. I think so too. And he wouldn't fight fair. He'd use a golf club or something. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, I agree. But he's not like he's not about to run a marathon himself either. Hell like, no. And like, I don't know many eighty year olds that no. are. Like I'm not running any fucking. And yeah, marathons. it was an uh, Iowa voter that he, he the Iowa voter. Do you have audio pushed, of it? I don't have the audio. I can get it real quick. But um, let me see if this is the right spot for it. Spot, <laughs> but yeah, oh, but, it, but I, it, I got it. Hold on, cool. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, wait, I grabbed the wrong one. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to slow you down there, but I thought that was the one, but it's not. Um, but anyways, no, it was uh, he got pushed on Ukraine or having uh, ties to Ukraine by a guy, and the guy yeah, called him a damn liar and fat, and then challenged him to a push-up contest. Okay, but it wasn't even like like I said, like that push on. It was like he was a Biden guy. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like he, he was, was at like, a Biden fucking right little town hall, right. little town hall meeting or whatever it was. Anyway, that's hilarious. And by the way, uh, fat was dead bright. He was absolutely. I know more than most people know, and I oh, can get dude. things done. That's why I'm running. And you want to check my shape on? Let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. People clap at this. Why are people Number clapping? Two. Number two. No one has said my son has done anything wrong, and I did not on any occasion. And no one has ever said it. I've said it. I didn't say you were doing anything wrong. I you said, said I set up my son to work on an order. You did. Yeah. Isn't yep. that what you said? I Get your work straight, It Jack. has been proven. <laughs> But I, we hear on, the, on MSNBC all the time. You don't hear that on MSNBC. No, no they wouldn't hear. You do not hear that. But you heard. Look, okay, I'm not I wonder what the words are going to say. Yeah. Well, yeah, you do. The closed but, uh, captioning. Yep. But look, fat, look, here's the deal. Here's look, the deal. fat, here's the deal. Look at that We don't have any more backbone than Trump does. I love how this audience to me, you know, liberals are supposed to be so nice. All this yeah. shit, he just calls him fat. Yeah. Then he's kind of, then he kind of defends himself, and they boo it. Yeah. yeah what about the fucking fact that he called him fat? Yeah, they what? don't care. It's no, he's kinda, on their team. <laughs> it's kind of hard to understand exactly what he says there. You know, he doesn't yeah. speak that clearly. But no, thank God for subtitles. Yeah, exactly. But if you didn't know, if you were in that room and you're a super fan of Joe. Anybody be a but even after it Joe happened, Biden, like but, after it happened, well, no, there was no they're controversy. A soup fan, a soup fan, yeah, soup or fan. But after it happened, there was like no real controversy. No, it's no. like just from shows like ours, right? We picked up well, you didn't it. hear yeah. it on MSNBC. Yeah, yeah. that's actually right. He, he's article, actually though. right. The MSNBC would never say that. That's where like, I found the article, though. The, he came calling a guy fat. Really, MSNBC. MSNBC? Yep. Hilarious. MSNBC was the first one to pop up. Hilarious. So uh, Southwest has been slammed for what critics call the ridiculous policy that gives. Uh, overweight or fat passengers free seats to accommodate their size. Can I wear a bodysuit next time then? Just I so guess. I can get extra seats? I can Dude, use extra seats. Who doesn't want extra seats? Well, my thing is like, what about tall people? You know, all these fat people are complaining when they got... Good point. Most of them have a chance to change that I fatness, know. right? I'm stuck on a plane at 6'1 with my knees dug into the seat in front of me. Yeah. And that's that pisses me off. Great point. It's a, no, there's, and there's people that are bringing up that point. Like, yeah. fuck you, man. Like, I can't change four. my weight. Like, can I get two seats so I can put my leg over dude, a little bit? I don't know how someone like A.A. Ron gets his legs. He's yeah. a big dude. He's a yeah. tall guy. Like, yep. how do you, you have to pay the upgrade for at least the, uh, yeah. what's the middle one that gives you a couple business. extra inches? Yeah, like business class. Or like an exit is. row. You can get like an exit row. Ex- that's yeah. what I do. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to, I want to stretch my oh, legs Are you the one up. taking up all my exit rows? Hell <laughs> yeah, I probably am. 
Um, so I'm Mike Walters in the exit row with two seats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on a flight squished into the corner because this massive obese guy has taken up half my seat. I paid for a full seat, not a half seat. He is violating Southwest's own policies. She posted a lot of photos of the guy's leg edging into her seat. It's it's so annoying. Yeah. What, if you, I don't know if you've flown a lot, Gary. Flying sucks. I hate flying. Yeah, it does. This isn't normal or fair. If you don't fit in one seat, you need to buy two seats. She went on to share more photos of problems with her seatmate and was not just limited to his his uh, weight and his size, oh, but boy. also his eating habits. What a shock. Oh, Oops. boy. Yeah, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? <laughs> I, I say. can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Dude was stuffing cheeseburgers, plural. Cheese Holy burgers. shit. And fries down his throat and threw his trash on the floor. Disgusting fat slob. She called him. All right. Easy Joe Biden. Burgers, plural. <laughs> <laughs> burgers, plural. Burgers, plural. Dude, Jeez, I think the burgers. longest flight I've ever been on was like nine hours. And I had nothing more than a sandwich. I didn't really? want to eat. Fucking airplane food Which sucks. is why you're and fucking food. 98 pounds. Yeah, I just slept most of the time, but... She posted again after they reached out to us. So they're like, well, we cannot press the rewind button. Go back and fix what happened. We hope uh, you give us the opportunity to welcome you back and enjoy a more favorable experience. And then they offered her a $150 voucher for a future okay. flight. Something. Yeah. She she responded, worthless, because I'm <laughs> never flying Southwest again. And even ah, if I would, right, settle down, that's not nearly enough compensation for this. I don't believe I've, that. Yeah. I've only flown Southwest like three times in my life as a last resort. Never again. The reason I hope never to fly Southwest again isn't because of this incident. It's because I think it's a terrible airline. Like I said, only ever flown it a handful of times, all under extreme circumstances. In this case, option was a normal airline with a long stopover or direct with Southwest. I'm starting to lean towards flying a normal airline, even if it has a stopover, over flying Southwest, if a scenario like this comes up again. I don't believe she's not using that $150 voucher. You don't yeah. think so? oh, I bet she doesn't. She's no. probably getting paid now. She probably doesn't care. Maybe. And they make it a pain in the ass to well, use either way, fucking I vouchers mean, anyway, don't they? It was one bad flight one way from the other. I mean, what's the max? I don't know what she was going from, too. So I don't know how long yeah. she was on that plane. I, I feel mean, like 150 bucks. I could see her doing it. I could see her doing a, a one-way flight and yeah. using that $150. I can't imagine. That'd be ridiculous. Unless she... If, you're ridiculous to you, but I. Dude, but if she has any kind true. of money, she's still not, she's still flying Southwest. If yeah. you have, if she really has the money, and it sounds you can like she's flying way. Southwest, just regular seating. That's this wasn't like a first class bump. Yeah. Up no, 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 no. So, no. so if so you're she's flying, probably got our money, and you're flying on Easter. Yeah. This is Sunday. Like you're flying on Easter Sunday. Right? I just all I'm saying is I think she's going to use 150 dollars. I just don't. Believe I don't know. It. I don't know how we confirm that. Yeah. But. You know, I feel the strong. <laughs> yeah, that's just because you definitely would use it. You'd just take a flight for the fuck of it just to use it. Yeah. yeah. Where me, if it's like, oh, you've got one year and I didn't have a flight tr- scheduled in that year, I wouldn't use it. Yeah. I I, I, do, you know many, on. do you know how many fucking gift cards I've eaten over the years? Yeah. I mean, not physically eaten, but just just didn't use them. And it's like, oh shit. <laughs> I yeah, get that occasional two hundred dollar gift card to wherever yeah and i never used it no i hate to say i'll get one as a gift and it'll sit in my wallet for so long i just forget i have it and then yeah. i'll go through my wallet like oh shit two hundred dollars yeah. this and it's expired Fuck. and done yeah. yeah i hear you the airline has instituted a customer of size policy which allows fat passengers whose bodies take up more than one seat on a plane to get the non- uh, needed number of seats for free what is their definition of fat i wonder well, I mean, I think do they, they have a it. definition? <laughs> yes, customers who encroach upon any part of the neighboring seat or seats may purchase however many extra seats they need, which will then be refunded at check-in. So, wh- but, so, so they make so, you buy the seats, and then and they then, look at they, you or something, or I don't know. They need to get one of those uh, roller coaster test seats out front. Yeah, like yeah. can you fit in this? Yeah, kind of like the stick. Are you tall enough? Yep. You know, if you're wide enough. Well, they have those at like Cedar Point now too. It's I think it's probably just for the fat people too. But it's like uh, outside some of the roller coasters and stuff, they'll have like a version of the seat that you can sit in and see if it's comfortable. Oh, that's test definitely out. for fat people. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but for real, so they show up, they buy the two seats, thinking, okay, I'm gonna, I know I'm fat enough, I'm gonna get it compensated. Yeah. Then they show up, and the person has to be like, yeah, checks out. So what? The, your <laughs> point being, if you walked in, yeah, if I walked in, went, and said, yeah, yeah, I got two seats because I'm fat. What if you, why couldn't you, in this day and age, I'm not, I'm being dead serious. Identify as fat. Identify as fat. I used to be fat. And just be I like, identify I identify as fat. As fat. Uh, like, what do you want me to do about it? It's a mental it's, thing. Because I'm saying, like, does that person just in front of you then go, yep, Because who you're wouldn't, fat. who wouldn't want to buy the middle seat and claim <laughs> both seats on either side Obviously. of you? Obviously. Because or I'm at fat. least one. Dude, this would almost encourage me to pack on 50 pounds just to be able to go. I agree. I, I don't think I fly enough free, to justify the weight, but I'll think about it if I fly I mean, a lot. Honestly, I could see, if I was borderline, if I was... 
I don't know what constitutes for them because it's probably not a number. It's probably just a size. But if I if I could if they were like, dude, you put on twenty more pounds in the next month and you get both seats on either yeah. side of you for free. Yeah, I might do it. But then again, like you're like when you said like they, if they don't give a number, they you have to go up to the thing and they, they refund you on a check in or whatever. Yeah. What well, they, does that I know mean? they don't check weight. They don't check BMI. Yeah. So it is kind of an eyeball test. And so are there people just at the gate going, yep. Yeah, I'm huge. Yep. Sorry. Like, you're right. Uh, ma'am. We're going <laughs> oh, yeah, to end right. up with 10 people on a flight all claiming to be obese. Yeah. Yep. And just take 10 middle rows and be done with it. Right. Um, this will get ruined just like pets, you know, and everybody wants to bring a snake on as a yep. fucking. An know, alligator. Yeah. And it's like, no, it's asshole. You can't kangaroo. bring your pig on the fucking flight, you know. It's cleaner than a dog. I don't give a fuck. Some fat so customers have praised the policy. Critics well, say shock. It's, <laughs> it's pandering to very fat people and gives them an unfair advantage. Many have pointed out that free space is not available to customers who are very tall and need extra leg room. Those traveling with medical equipment or wheelchair users. Some have also pointed out the new rule is likely to worsen the airline's already hectic boarding process. That's what I've noticed. Yeah. So it used to be, and you know, you don't have to be that old to remember when it was like, hey, um, uh, to close the door. I'm like, me? Right. I'm the last one on, and we can back out now. I don't want to sit there in that fucking tube. Right. I don't unless understand. you're first class. Unless you're first class, then you want to show off to I, everybody. I don't, I get like, that. I totally get that. You want to show off and be like, plus you get the comfortable so you people. kind of like lean back a little bit, start ordering. No, it is drink. a difference. Yeah. You have a bigger seat. You get the, they'll start yeah. serving you soon. No, you get to show off to all the losers coming on after you. Yep. Yeah. You know, and you'd be like, maybe unless you, you got one of those fucking, maybe uh, if you would have worked harder. Sooner. No privileged flights where they uh, onboard some people in the middle. Yeah, that pisses me off when they don't get get to to walk by and see me in first class. Because I don't belong in first class, but the the few times I've been there, and it's like, wait, you're boarding losers in the middle of the plane? They don't want them to walk walk past me. me. (laughs) They need to walk by and see me with my champagne (laughs) and my blankie that I don't want and my warm towel. They give you a moist towelette that's warm. I've heard. Yeah, it's nice. You you should try it sometime. No, it's gone from, "Uh, yeah, we're now seating on our first class person passengers. Welcome to Delta. It's gone from that to military, which I don't have a problem with that. Military person. I think they've been doing that for well, a long time. Actually, Chris uh, Crackiola, he yeah. says how military shouldn't get boarded first. I said it, stand by it, and I'm sorry about Tony. Uh, yeah. guys. He's good but boy. he says he stands by uh, no military boarding first. I understand that one, but this is, this is parking spaces now. You've noticed this? It's like, yeah. oh, expectant mothers. I'm like, well, if that fat ass can't walk from the car to the fucking yeah. store yeah. stay in bed fatso send your husband we, we oh. don't need to oh oh no. this is for i ran into one yesterday at the grocery store for 10 minute parking i was like well unless they got a stopwatch i'm parking there and i'm doing my grocery shopping <laughs> and i parked in the front row 10 minutes only and i was like i i don't know how long it's gonna i don't know how long it's gonna take them in there but i'll do my part in 10 minutes fuck them yeah i was in there for an hour <laughs> and then i came out loaded my car and left and never thought twice about it but they've got pregnant parking, expectant yep. mother parking, veteran parking, handicapped parking. They've got all the shit. And the, the airlines are the same way. First class, veterans. Any, Wait for gay parking. It's it, coming. Gay parking's coming. Trans parking yep. is coming. I promise you. Oh, we're in both spots. Yeah, I'm you double are. parked. And, and all I'm going to do is slap a rainbow sticker on my car and be like, I've already yeah. got one. Yeah, I know you do. And, and I'm going to start parking there, too. Fuck it. Whatever. I'm, uh, oh, they I'm, gay, I'm one they, of the pans. If, Call me one of the pans. If they had, like, go. gay or lesbian or whatever, gay or trans parking up front, I would do that. Yeah. I would I, admit that. I started claiming to be non-practicing bi. Yeah, that works. non-practicing bisexual. But I just want to be in the group. Yeah. You know, I want to be part of the team so yeah. I can take advantage of all this I shit. I think it's so muddy. You could just say bisexual now because it's like you, you have an attraction to one thing, but you lean towards another thing. So you can just yeah. say, yeah, I only practice with women and stuff. But, you know, I've seen like a hot guy on TV and be like, oh, cool. And then moved on. Yeah. Okay. If that qualifies. I'll then qualify I'm, it. Then I'm bi. I'm bi. There you Definitely go. Bi. We qualify it. Um, so, so let's see. Yeah. They've got kids, handicapped. Trans women with cocks, I'm sure we'll get on there. Nervous flyers. Should we have a special line for nervous flyers? Me. Why not? It gets to the point where it's like, okay, you've cleared out the whole fucking area. So what used to be special, like, oh, this is one of the perks for our first class members who paid double what your dumbass paid. And so they get a, a stupid glass of champagne and they get to board first. Instead, now we're down to anybody with a wheelchair, anybody over f- fucking 60, anybody with a brat, anybody with an animal, anybody yep. that was in the military at any point in their life, anybody that's thought of joining the military, anybody that's pregnant. Like, uh, okay, I just, I'm like, yeah, I just wait till the very end and then I just. I usually walk get on. drunk and wander on whenever they call my area. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 my goal is to call pass my out name on the in plane. the airport. 
Literally, call yeah. my name. Last call and call my name. Yeah. And I'm sitting right there. Uh, passengers are unable to book seats ahead of time, which pisses people off, which often results in a scramble for window and aisle seats when customers make it to the plane. Customers qualify for the free ticket if any part of their body extends past the seat's armrest. The armrest is considered to be the definitive boundary between seats. If you're unable to lower both armrests and or encroach upon any portion of the seat next to you, you need a second seat. Our policy does not focus on weight. Oh, 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 but it certainly does. Yeah, it probably uh, that's should. That's all it's focusing on. Yeah, like what else would the folks be on? Well, Any again, idea? at 6'2", am I allowed to fucking sit no. there? No, you know? fuck you. I know that. Screw well, you. I think least. they should make the weight way more important considering that's a thing that's about to go flying in the air. The weight kind of matters on it, you know, where the Sometimes. air is, where the distribution is. Sometimes. Um, two pigs ruined my flight not that long ago, and these people did it on purpose. Oh. The way they booked it. So, so I had the first row past either first class or, or business, whatever it is. Yeah. But it was one of those aisle ones where you had tons of legroom. Yeah, yeah, you had the little emergency like, exit next to you. Yeah, and I was coming off back surgery, so I was like, oh, that'll be perfect. Then I can stretch my legs out of them in that first row. I know how this works. Yeah. It's right in an exit, and of course I'll lie to them and say, oh, yeah, I'll shuffle everybody out right. of here. Yeah. Meanwhile, Gladly. I would trip a kid and hold them in the hole so yeah. nobody else can get out before I would help anybody. Yeah. You know that. Either. Obviously. Um, yeah. And when push comes to shove panic mode, I, I don't that, know how I react. It's just the dumb. idea happens, happens. that we sit here with people. You have to humanity. verbally acknowledge. I know. They I know. make you verbally acknowledge. Yep. And what happens if you don't? I will help. What the fuck happens? They're going to you shame don't? you. You'll get a shame. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how they prove that. Yeah. I, I did in, my in best. A, in an event that the airplane is in a fucking <laughs> lake or water. They got yeah. Mike in court. They're, they're, what are <laughs> yeah. gonna fucking, someone's going to pull a cell phone camera out. Yeah, and, this is a Seinfeld episode. The last yeah, episode of I, Seinfeld. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're breaking that kind of policy. You're just kind of a dick. So, um, yeah, I, I had a couple pigs on mine, and I know that they did it on purpose because they were husband and wife pigs. So they were huge. I'm trying to decide how, they're gonna, how they did it. Like where the how they was. fucked me over? Yeah. Oh, I guarantee I know. I, hmm. Are they sitting on the other side of you? You got yeah, yeah, right. to try and get that middle seat open so they can yep. try and be like, "Oh, do you want to like move somewhere else?" They both spilled over into my seat, and I'm al- I'm already I was probably two ten at the time. Yeah. yeah, and I'm in the middle seat like this, and I've got both my arms in because both these pigs have their fucking elbows on the middle of course, yeah. thing, and I'm like this, and I'm trying to squeeze back, and I'm rubbing both their shoulders, and they're. At, they're pulling snacks out and passing them oh my God. over me. And not even. I'm the type like, of asshole though where I just start trying to take bites out of their snacks as they're dude, coming past. I didn't, but I always. If I pull out a bag of gummy bears. Yeah, you offer them. I offer to my neighbors. Yeah. I'm like, hey, almost never do they take me no. up on it. But sometimes they do. And I wouldn't have touched these fucking. They packed, they packed meals for the flight. Yeah. Sandwiches, cheese curds, fucking bags of chips. They were a mess. And they had no they, shame. They at never all. decided. That, why wouldn't they? But they never even offered. Like, oh, here we've got a giant bag of uh, fucking white why cheddar they, popcorn. You want, you want some? a handful? No. Why wouldn't they fucking want to fucking ask you to move over? Right? I, I don't know why. But. Yeah, because they knew those pigs couldn't fit next, next to their own. Yeah. How do they have sex? <sighs> Who knows? A crane. I, I've, I've always wondered. <laughs> yeah. What are these? A lot of pullers and levers, uh, pulleys what, and levers. What was the old joke about roller and flower and look for the wet spot or something like that? Oh, I <laughs> remember that have, stupid joke. You like throw it or something or the flower. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Maybe I don't, uh, roller I kind, and flower and look for the wet spot. I kind of know what you're talking about, but I haven't heard it in yeah. so long. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Jaylene Cheney, a size. What size do you believe Jaylene was? Uh, Infinifat. I believe is the <laughs> the word we're looking for. No. J J Lynn Cheney, a size six XL travel influencer. So your line of work influencer. is in travel, and you're a size six XL. Now I don't think women's sizes come in XL. I want to know what like a real that, job is. Right, six XL. Can you get a women's six XL? I'm assuming she's a men's six yeah, XL. Yeah. I like to know her actual job because there's no way that's her regular. There's yeah. no way that's paying for her whole life. Yeah. Uh, she frequently advocates for free. Or bigger seats on planes. Oh, really? Does she? Yeah. Well, why why stop there? Why not free meals? Yeah. You have to eat more than the regular person. So why why should you have to pay more right. for your food? Exactly. Why not free meals? Why not free clothes? Yep. Anything over double XL, got to got to should be free. It. You know, it's not her fault. She's a doesn't giant matter if it cow. takes more material to make the clothes. Are we going to get to the point where they're going to make cars with special giant person seats? In, in America, America, we will. Are. It, what's that? <laughs> in America, we will. Yeah. Right. Because that's what that's the line we're going down. That's the road we're traveling. And I don't. 
want their lives as what it is. Yeah, it's the I same get thing it. like Dave's. I, I get it. I've been there. Yeah. It's like, don't, I don't need anyone doing anything. I just want to get through without being made fun of. I get it. And I know how awkward it is. Yeah, and it's the test. Holidays and Lizzo's pointing it out that make it a problem. That make it a problem because it's like you're trying to glamorize it or, or beg for free shit or demand free shit and act like this isn't this isn't a choice this is the way god made me and i love it and it's like no this type of person was one in a fucking one in a hundred million 30 40 50 years ago yeah now they're in every other car you pass they're fucking slobs they don't care they're not and some of the ones I've run into on a plane, you can tell. They're fucking bummed. They know they're a pig, and they know they're kind of leaking into your seat, and I feel bad for them, and I would never say anything, and I don't care that their yeah. fat thigh is rubbing on me, but the ones that are fucking rubbing crumbs all over themselves yeah, yeah. and get it on my shoes because they're just pigs, and they, they don't have any decency to go, you know what, you, why don't... Since I'm leaning over into the fucking aisle way and into your seat, I'm just going to take the end armrest and I, I'll leave that middle one for you. No, Cord they're just going right. to pour out and slob out and you're like, <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Let's say Cord put it best when he said, uh, Mike wasn't an airplane seat threesome. Uh, yeah, it was, it was awful. It was the, it was the most miserable flight I've ever been on. Cause I was literally like this the whole time. <laughs> the whole, it, I've been there. Back surgery. It was fucking horrible. It was horrible. Um, yeah, if more airlines adopted policies like Southwest, customer of size policy, uh, air travel would be far more accessible and accommodating to people of size. Yeah, oh, well. Just what we need. More accommodation for... No, just take the train, sweetheart. If you're 6X, maybe you shouldn't be jumping on a plane. You know yeah. those seats are... They're, they make them tiny, and they cram them into those you tubes. You just know you got to buy two. That's yeah. what you did. It's kind of like um, you know, when I get high and I have to go get groceries or something like that, I call it the high tax. I have to order my stuff and pay the extra money. I so, made the choice to do what I did. Wait, what do you mean? Like you uh, so like if order I, uh, a bunch of munchies? Yeah, like, like if I, you know, if I get high and then suddenly something pops up, like, oh, I need groceries or something or have to do something, it's yeah. called the high tax. It means I have to pay the DoorDasher to do the work because I oh, can't drive. you can't drive It's the same thing with pussy. fat people. What, well, what's wrong with your generation of pussies? You can't even fine. drive when you're high. What's Not that people with? need to know of. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I've had some nights where it's a little too far. You're like, okay, I'm not going to be on the wheel. But... I was, I, by the way, in defense of the, and I know you're fucking around, but in defense <laughs> yeah. of the idea of being a pussy and doing some of that shit, like driving drunk, to me, it's always been more. The I didn't fact say that, driving drunk. I okay. said hi. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, because to Drunk's me, a different thing. Look, I don't need to be going 30 down Telegraph. <laughs> right. Okay. I was going to say, man. because Although just with made today's it, weed, yeah, it's probably smart not to drive. Yeah. Now. They've just made it so much of a fucking problem if you get in trouble that it is not oh, worth yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's that, another that's one of my big fears. It's not even so much I'm afraid of my driving, I'm afraid of getting caught. Well, the thing with being... someone could bump you, dude. Yeah. Someone, you could be at a fucking red light and someone bumps you. The thing with being high is, high doesn't make you, like, absolutely go against your core beliefs yes. and, like, decision-making It just kind of makes you a little slow. <laughs> it, yeah, it just makes you a little slow. Yeah. Maybe your reaction, but you're not going... I could drive in fighting people over your yeah. keys. You're drunk. Yeah. You might fight someone over your keys. Right. I'm yep. fine. I'm fine. Like that sloppy person. Yeah. You know, that's a totally different ball game. No, and I think it's the same thing with fat people, though, where it's like, look, you got to this weight somehow. You just got to pay the fat tax. Buy two seats. Yeah. Yeah. Your clothes are going to cost a little more. The funny more thing is it's not a big deal. Like, honestly, we, we're making a lot of fun of it to me, but like, if you if you just fucking realize the situation, you go okay. I've got to buy two seats. Then fine, you're just a yeah. person doing your thing. Well, it's, here's the problem: tickets can a lot of times cost six hundred dollars, and a lot of people don't have twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, I get that, it. That's the only six hundred dollars they have. I I totally understand that. I do. The problem I have is trying to normalize it and make it like you're a bigot of some form if you have a problem with it. It's like. No, no. I, like I understand the situation you're in. That sucks. And if you're humble about it, I'm right there with you. And I will, I will absolutely do my best to accommodate that person next to me. It's the fucking one that's so clueless and such trash or the fucking Lizzo's of the world that want to brag about it. Like it's a yep. cool thing. And it's like, no, it's never been and never will be cool to be an absolute slob. It just won't. I'm sorry. I know there are people with pituitary gland issues yeah. that have weight issues. And but it's usually like, those but people you know are what? nice about it. That's sure. the thing. Yeah. You, can be, you can be a larger person and not be a slob, actually. Right. Like, there are people that can be larger, but they're not slob. Right. Exactly. That's a difference. 100%. That's 100%. a difference. Big difference. And when, you know, I know what race or whatever, Libs at TikTok Girl is talking about. It. Yeah. It's like, okay, not only is this dude pouring all into my seat, and I should have pulled up pictures, but I didn't. 
but shoveling multiple cheeseburgers down their gullet and fries. It's like, this dude's not trying to yeah. be, you know, because I've seen that girl on a plane too that's clearly overweight and she brings her own salad on yeah. and she puts a small amount of balsamic. Like, I've seen that girl. Yeah, yeah. And I feel bad for that girl because I know she's she's not she's not like thrilled to be heavy right you know we'd all enjoy just eating cheeseburgers every meal and fuck yeah you know what i mean like who <laughs> wouldn't but uh, yeah you know when you start pulling out bags of doritos yeah. on the flight and you're a pig someone might judge you a little bit sorry yeah this is the way sure. it is um biden has been uh, excuse me president dementia has been blasted for um Claiming um, trans people are made in the image of God on Easter, uh, but not acknowledging Jesus. Isn't that whoa. the reason for the season? Isn't it all about Jesus? I was going to say, no, this yeah. is a bad day to call trans people the image of God and then say what, nothing about what Jesus. What if we did yeah. this with any other religion? Um, you know besides what I mean? Christianity? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it'd be a real problem. Yeah. Isn't that just kind of disrespectful? Or I guess Isn't, Juda Judy, Judy, Judaism at some point. It, yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, that's more Old Testament. They still don't like you for being gay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying there is kind of okay with some people apparently to knock the Jews too. But like that's yeah, almost a, there's yeah. a lot of Jews. But you have to be a Jewish person to knock the Jews. It's there's, like you can joke about it, but you have to be like approved. No, no, there isn't. That's the point. <laughs> no, a lot of people hammer Jews right now. Jews are yeah. under attack. For well, that's because sure. Palestine's right. cool now. Palestine's super but, cool. But if yep. you did this with any Gays other... for Palestine is my favorite I've group. seen that one. I love Gays for Palestine. It's <laughs> yep, awesome. Because the Palestine loves the gays. Oh, Palestine. Of course. Hamas nobody loves Nobody loves gays. them more than them. No, nobody on planet Earth loves the gays yep. more than Hamas. Oh, I love those, my Palestinian brothers. Yeah. I stand with them. Yeah, Gays for <laughs> Palestine. I love it. It's a great group. I hope they go over there and pitch in. Do a lot, yeah. Give a hand. You know? I think they can do a lot over there. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll be very welcome to be good at arms. doing gravity experiments. Sure. Yeah, gravity experiments. Get those yes. arm workouts for the uh, yeah. other soldiers. I, I don't know, you know what the top rocks. speed is for a human to hit in descent. Uh, it is terminal velocity. <laughs> What's terminal velocity? 230 miles an hour, 260 or something like that? Like if you drop? Because they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna find out what that is. Yeah, no, terminal velocity is... Why don't you just... I got the formula. Yeah, I, we don't need the formula. We're stupid here. Free falling through a gas or liquid. T a typical terminal velocity for a parachutist who delays opening the chute is about 150 miles or 240 kilometers for Canadian okay, listeners per an hour. Yep. 150 miles an hour. Yep. They'll know what that feels like if they go over there. Yeah, if they go over there and... and uh, I and, how loud that was yeah. that he got hit on his phone through the door. Yeah, through the door. I mean, it's just a, probably an iPhone Seriously. or something. Yeah. Ball slapping on ass. Dude, the way he said all this stuff, though. Dick. I got to say, his cadence and everything like that, I was able to plug it right back into his song. Yeah, let me hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah hold up. Put, Garrett did his first piece of production, and, and it shouldn't shock you that it was gay-related. No, not right, right. Nothing wrong with that. Have you this heard is, uh, this yet, Mike, or no? Uh, maybe I heard just a minute of it. All right, I'm going to see if I can get but, the... We'll post this on YouTube, right? Hold on. I got to open it with Media Player. And I'm going to judge his uh, editing skills. Oh, boy. Here we go. Put me on the spot. I mixed it into an R. Kelly and P. Diddy song. I feel like R. Kelly should have been represented, too. And then I just changed out P. Diddy's verse. So it's more accurate to what's going on. Okay. <laughs> like, all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was spiked. <laughs> I don't drink, so I'm playing that shit off. Like, I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. <laughs> like, I smoke, and I had my own weed, but everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. I put my ear to the fucking door, and I brought the phone, because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on. I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, yeah. All that daddy this and daddy that And then I heard some hollering and struggling Like yeah, I kept the phone there And I recorded all this shit Cause I was like, this nigga diddy bitch Gonna put the squeeze on And give me a couple dollars to just ain't, you know what I'm saying There's nobody believed that that was really diddy bitch with me back in But now The 
just have to finish out that measure. Yeah. Oh, you have to finish out the measure. That's yep. very good. Thank you. That's very funny, dude. That's very good. Righty? Yeah. Funny. I'll slap it together in an hour. Yeah, I love it. I love that you're even thinking that way. It's very good. And well, I, I was cutting I them up for drops, and I was like, tone. this just works. It's, it's great. And I love doing music mixes. Oh, stuff. they're my favorite. Yeah, yeah. If you can line those beats up right. Yep. And, and no, one of my favorite things to do with uh, like old <laughs> rap songs, especially Wu-Tang Clan, is sometimes their beats are a little dated, and I like more modern-style beats, so I'll take Wu-Tang lyrics, I'll put them over beats that I've made. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. All right. So that's, that's what I do. Bad. I put those in my playlist. Um, so where were we here? Oh, Easter. So President Dementia faced backlash for proclaiming on his official White House X count that trans individuals are made in the image of God. Okay, first off, if anybody thinks that Joe Biden is running his Twitter account, yeah. right. we know who's running his he Twitter account. He doesn't know account. what X is, dude. No, he doesn't. But we know because that fucking moron, the worst press secretary in the history of press secretaries, yeah. literally ever, dumbest one ever, Corinne Jean-Pierre, yeah. KJP. She, she posted um, a tweet from President Biden on her account, but wrote it. So she, she posted it to the wrong account. Gotcha. Yeah. She posted it from hers on accident yeah. instead of his. So it's like, oh, you're the one that's been writing these posts. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. No wonder you're, you're trying to make this guy sound cool or whatever. So anyways, he probably has no idea oh, this went out. He doesn't even know what it is. No. Yep. The incident comes after Biden issued a proclamation on Good Friday that all Americans should join in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and work towards eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. Yeah, that violence and discrimination is not what you think it is or what they keep telling you it is. Jews are way more discriminated and hated against, um, uh, and Christians are way more um trans are actually pretty far fucking down the list yeah i was gonna say you you're not really like, allowed to talk shit about trans like, people no right now. no it, it, so this this idea of oh my god we've got to eliminate all this violence it's nonsense yeah like not saying it doesn't happen of course everything happens on some level but the the amount that we're putting into it is a joke compared to what the actual statistics are the white house also causes a stir with a release uh, with a release announcing it had banned overtly rig religious themed Easter egg designs for their annual art contest. So I would think that's a cross. That would be an yeah. overtly. Way too religious. But Can't isn't, put there. correct me if I'm wrong, Jesus, you're more of a religion guy than me, but isn't Easter based on Jesus? Yeah. Isn't that the so. point I, of Easter? I, I believe yeah. so. I believe like Good so. Friday is when he's nailed to the wood. Yep. And then Easter's the day he comes Look, back if, from if the, the dead, right? If the, if the, if the White House Hold on, let me finish that. Yeah. I want to establish these facts. That's why we have yeah. the holiday. Good Friday is when he's nailed to the cross, and then he comes back from the dead on Easter Sunday. Am I right about that? Correct. Yes. Okay, where were you going? If the White House, or as a government, we just don't want to take those holidays off anymore, fine with me. Yeah. But that's one thing, yeah. because we don't do any other religion, you know, for the most hey, part. So if they want If they like, want to ha have us go to school on Easter, but then we get George Floyd's birthday off, that's fine. I don't really give a fuck. But if you're going to sit there and say that it's Easter, yeah. you're taking... Yeah, I just put it in the Friday. Google Good Friday meeting and Easter meeting, just to see what Google was saying they oh, are. Yeah. Uh, Good Friday marks the ultimate day of forgiveness in the life of Christians, according to Christianity.com. Uh, good Friday is appro uh, appropriately named names because of the good news of why Jesus went through his suffering and death. And then uh, the Easter meaning just says, uh, what is Easter? Easter is one of the principal holidays for or feasts of Christianity. It marks the resurrection yeah. of Jesus three right. days after his death by crucifixion. And yeah, you know, that's and, what I thought. And very none of us at this point in the room here, if anything, we've been called out from people for being anti -God. Yeah. Oh, so 100%. I'm not sitting here looking to defend the, you know, Jebus or anything. My entire no, way of life is an affront to God, according to most Christians. Right, exactly. But the point, you're you're but, an absolute abomination. I've got the fast pass the hell, man. Oh, wow. But if you're going to sit here... And and do an Easter celebration, yeah. it's fucking religious. Yeah, it is. Like, there's no way around it. There's certain holidays that yeah. are just religious. Like, you don't just get to, like, oh, we're going to make it a trans holiday now, according to the fuck, this stupid White House. Really? You you have an art contest for Easter. Think about that for a second, okay? An art contest. You're going to have an art for contest Easter. for Easter with no overt religious signs. That's the whole fucking point to the it's to the bunnies day. and colorful ducks, Mike. That's all you get. Yeah, you get yellow ducks and uh, yellow ducks and pink bunnies. Pink bunnies, blue. You blue get eggs, the, green. You can do peeps. Yeah. And what are you? Ask them. Then what are we celebrating? Yeah. Why, why are we are calling we, it Easter? Why yeah. don't you just say uh, trans day? Visibility is what they're trying to call it. Yeah. So you could just use what? What are the trans colors? Purple, uh, brown. And, actually, the same as Easter. It's just yellow, blue, or pink. 
Uh, wait, wasn't there a brown triangle in there or something? No, that's like the whole gay flag. Like, just the trans flag, I believe, is uh, blue, pink, and white. So it's already Easter. I have a message to all trans Americans. I see you. You are made in the image of God, and you are worthy of respect and dignity. I agree. And if, by the way, if we're all, if, if you're all made in the image of God, then why do we need drug and surgeons? I was about drugs to say, surgeons. I, like, I love Maria and the Death, but uh, if you're made in the image of God, why do you need surgery? <laughs> why do we need to, <laughs> to, to why, get, do what you want? Yeah. And shut the fuck up. I mean, like, God way. made you, you one way and you, you decided to go against it. Stop at this idea, too. I see you. You're worthy of respect and dignity. You're made in the image of God. You fucking hate God and Christians. Everything you've done is an attack on Christianity and God and religion. Every time we turn around, well, you're trying to <laughs> change what this country was based on and act like religion isn't important or doesn't matter. Save your emails. I know. But you were not... The, the people talking to this microphones... I haven't been to church in 40 fucking years. Yeah, okay? I haven't, I haven't read a Bible in just as long. But I can see where it's good for society. I can see where um, maybe not the best idea to just dump Christianity and religion all together in society. Probably well, what about these other religions? Way. Why don't they get fucking... No, they, we got to hold them up. Yeah. They're, better well, than us. they're mostly uh, minority religions in America. So. And, yeah. Not to beat a dead horse as I fucking grab that horse and hold him down and beat him literally to death. But if you were wondering about this, this whole visibility, this visibility, trans visibility, you're fucking visible. You I are not so. invisible. You are visible. And so I will go through a, a quick list. I won't take that much time on it. There's Agender Pride Day, which is May 19th, a day celebrated internationally to promote awareness of agender individuals. Who the fuck are these clowns now? The ones who don't have a gender. They're just like, oh. I'm not a man or a woman, but I'm also not trans and I'm not this. Cool. Yeah. We've got a romantic spectrum awareness week, the first full week following Valentine's Day, which is February 14th. That's just people who couldn't get laid on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A week to promote in, uh, information and awareness about a romantic spectrum identities, a uh, community in which someone experiences little to no romantic ex uh, attraction. Good for you. Yeah. So, so you're not attracted to anybody. You don't need a day. We don't no. need to sit and recognize you. Oh, do you have a girlfriend? No, I'm not really even attracted to people. I would say that's me right now. The medications I'm on make it uh -huh. so that I don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't care about getting laid. I, I don't You've care about... You've been doing this whole uh, agender awareness shit yeah. for a while. Who knew You're I was agender? A romantic. I'm on a spectrum. My week is the first full week following Valentine's Day. Why do they get a whole week? I expect you all to sit and recognize me. That's my question, though. Is how do they get a whole week I when Valentine's know. Day is one day? They also get a romantic visibility day, which is June 5th. For some fucking reason. So it's not we get even the same day. week as Valentine's week. No. So in February, we get a week. In June, we get a day. International Asexuality Day. That's April 6th. Ace week. To promote awareness of those who are on the asexual spectrum. That's the last full week in October. Bisexual week. 16th through the 22nd of September. Oh, that's your week. And then we get Celebrate Bisexual Day on the 23rd. As if the week, if 16th through the 22nd was enough, we need another day on the 23rd to just be like... Just in case you weren't ready. This is Bisex Day. Gender Fluid Visibility Week, the 17th of October through the 24th. Drag Day is July 16th, a day that aims to celebrate recognized drag art around the world. International Day Against Homophobia. So we need to sit and recognize, ah, today's the day how's we don't beat up the gay. How's that go over in Iran? Uh, it doesn't go over well. I think they okay. try and celebrate it by being more homophobic. Gotcha. Or at least yeah. I would. I'm that kind of person. That's how it goes. Yeah, it doesn't sound pleasant, but that was uh, live audio from uh, Hamas, or Iran, I think you said. Or During Iraq. Gay Day? Yep. During Gay Day. International Gay Day. Um, so we've got the International Day Against Homophobia. That's May 17th, if you're writing this down on your calendar. We've got International Day of Pink. That, that's second Wednesday in April. I people thought colors didn't have a gender. It's a worldwide anti-bullying, anti-homophobia event where participants are encouraged to wear or display pink. So you celebrate a lot, E. I do. Yeah. You do. You're, you're really I'm trying, one of the I don't have any You're an ally right now, and you've been viewed. <laughs> you're a huge ally. Echoing a mass gesture of solidarity with a student subjected to homo-bullying in Cambridge, Nova Scotia, Canada, back in 07. Intersex Awareness Day, uh, 26th of October. Um... Uh, Intersex Day of Remembrance is the 8th of November. Lesbian Day is the 8th of October. Lesbian Visibility Day, because Lesbian Day is not enough. We I need a Visibility been, yeah. Day. So that What's is What's the a, difference? April I'd like to know 26th. what the difference of those. Lesbian Day, an annual day celebrating lesbo culture that originated in New Zealand and Australia, but is now celebrated internationally. So that's the culture where you sit around and talk about eating pussy. I yeah. Think. Isn't a lot that of carpet munching. 
Yeah. And what's yeah. the difference between the visibility? You then? beat your wife, eat some carpet. Um, lesbian. Okay. I'm glad you asked this question. Eve. This is a very fair question. Very good question. Because so, what's the difference between a lesbian day and, and visibility day? Visibility day, which is so October 8th is lesbian day. Lesbian visibility day is April 26th. And that is an annual day to celebrate, recognize and bring visibility to lesbians. That it's around. Yeah. Lesbians I think the porn, exist. I think anyone that's watched porn realizes it exists. Well, yeah. what about those that haven't watched a lot of porn? <laughs> that's true. They I think anyone who's not... even been on a site just hit the fucking splash page knows what it is. Yeah, I would think so, but if you're not, thank God they've got Lesbian Visibility Day. Good um, no. National Coming Out Day. Do you know what day that is? No. How do you not know what day that is? I don't know, is? man. I just came out whenever it felt right. <laughs> October 11th is Coming Out Day. I think we we paused yeah. a few times over the years. I was going to say, I think I remember it being like celebrated somewhere, but... Um, if you're wondering, so the week starting Sunday, Monday, surrounding the 14th of July is non-binary awareness week. So those that don't fit into the, the normal gender binary, those who do not identify as a man or a woman, or who may, may identify as both a man and a woman, or may fall outside of these categories altogether. That's just everyone except man or woman. So how is that different than asexual? You know, you know what, by the way? If you... Well, asexual is like the, they don't do anything. I think the... All Whatever right. that one is, is uh, they do everything with everyone, maybe, or they're what, something different. What, which one was it? Uh, like, uh, fuck, I even forgot now. I'm thinking about it. What, what was the phrase that we're talking about? Um, non binary yeah, awareness week. Non binary yeah. awareness week. So it's like the people who are not man or woman. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Anything outside man or woman. Yeah. Yeah. Or so, both. Yeah. Or one or the other. Yeah. By the way, if that, you know, that ends July 14th, but on July 14th, we do have non binary people's day. So that's an annual day to celebrate and bring visibility to those who are non-binary. Why don't they call it non-binary uh, visibility day? I don't know. Uh, pansexual and panromantic awareness day is May 24th. Pronouns day is the third Wednesday in October. Uh, Trans awareness month is November. Trans awareness week is 13th through the 19th of November. Transgender day of remembrance is November 20th. Okay, at least so they're all the keeping week, it in the same month. So the week and the month was not enough. Now we need a day on the 20th just to remember. A I day, give them, I was day within say. the month. Oh, don't forget, trans day of visibility is the 31st of March. Transparent day. So if you're a parent of a trans kid, um, you get the first Sunday. What if November. you're a transparent? What if you're transparent yeah. or a trans? And then how are you visible if you're transparent? I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one. It's a hard one that to answer. It is a tough I, one. Uh, Zero Discrimination Day. That, is, that should um, be every day. March, yeah, March 1st. Promoting equality before the law. I, I believe we already have equality before the law, but yeah. whatever. Uh, and in practice throughout all of the member countries of the UN. So ah. That one. Um, LGBT History Month is? Oh, this one I know. Uh, June. No. No. Fuck. I'm terrible at my job. You, you suck at your job. You are the worst representation. For I know. That's why I'm here on TDC. That's on October. In October. Okay. Well, I thought, oh, no, that was uh, trans was November. Okay. Mardi Gras like Some parade. of these are overlapping. Yeah. Some oh, of most them of them are. Like, there's, some of them are like international. Some of them are like U.S. Got it. I know so, about so, a few so, of these so, yes. through uh, my mom's work is uh, those people have to fight over the days that they yeah. get off. It's and like, it becomes a problem almost every year which days they're going to take and which well, ones they Well, they've can. gotten almost all the days. Yeah. So. Yeah. If you're one of these people, man. You Did know. you know they're trying to take the Mardi Gras parade? What? Yeah. That was a parade uh, for seeing titties. Yeah. Parade, it's beads and titties. Yeah. And getting shit faced. Like, even as a gay guy, I know what that is. It's yeah. a parade for seeing titties. First Saturday of March. The current Mardi Gras parade maintains the original rallies and political flavor. And then they add, with many marching groups and floats promoting LGBTQI rights issues and or themes. They're trying to steal Mardi Gras, dude. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're honing in on Mardi Gras. It was colorful. It's flamboyant. It used to be flash your tits for some beads. Now it's flash your deck. Uh, alcohol based it's all things gays love alcohol flashy colors bright yeah. colors I think they like a hard drugs a lot more poppers <laughs> well like they that. do like amyl amyl nitrate yeah. poppers that kind of thing but dude they're trying to hone in a mark i'm telling you new orleans watch your back they're coming they're trying to steal your parade it's built in it's awesome it's filthy it's like you already did all the work for us all we yeah. have to do is make it gay Jesus has been celebrating this day for a oh, long boy. time final friday of august Jesus is what? your day the wear it purple day that's my favorite day of the year. A I day to foster supportive, safe, empowering, and inclusive environments for rainbow young people. What's that mean, rainbow young people? I, uh, uh, you're supporting gay kids. But what about hey. <laughs> the, other, the other several other gay days? Um, Those did don't you support know, gay kids enough. Gotcha. I don't know what this is in India. They have Indian coming out day. 
I don't know if it's Don or Feather, but that's July 2nd. I'm sorry, Perry. <laughs> I don't know. You, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm shit in the street today. Uh, Bisexual Health Awareness Month, which is March, a month to raise awareness about the bisexual community, social, economic, and health disparities. Advocate for, re advocate for resources and inspire actions to improve bi people's well-being. I call that pick a whole day. Yeah. It's just pick a whole day. Pick a whole day. Hopefully it's not diseased. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, the Day of Silence, second Friday in April. Harvey Milk Day, May 22nd. Okay. Not the... Uh, the Navy ship? No. Harvey Milk was the mayor of San Francisco, I believe, who was assassinated huh. um, back in the day. And I think Harvey Milk, is that the name of a... like a? He's uh, the uh, first... I just heard about this. He's the first gay politician in California. Yeah. He yeah. was... I believe he was gay. the mayor was in 1978. Uh, an American politician, first openly gay man, elected the public office in California. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what he did. Yeah, it's kind of a gay name, isn't it? Harvey Milk. Yeah. Doesn't that sound kind of gay? weird last I name. just know they have a ship named after him that's also an oiler. Go is, that, is that a Superman character or Batman? Harvey Milk? No, Harvey Dent's the Harvey Batman Dent. character. Yeah, yeah he's the, uh, the uh, detective. Or no, he's Two-Face. Um, after that, on April 9th, is Sapphic Visibility Day. Fucking Sapphic. obviously. Um, Sapphism is an inclusive umbrella term for attraction between women. Lesbians? Well, yeah, if you're a fucking bigot, you'd say that. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah. It's, get your sapphism right. Yeah, I looked up sapphism right here. The uh, According to dictionary.com, it just says sexual attraction or activity between women. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Weird. I didn't know there's another word for lesbian. Yeah, there is. I'm it's learning. It's sapphic. And so we've got that sapphic to the alphabet. visibility day. HIV long-term survivors awareness day. So that's Magic Johnson Magic day. Magic Johnson yeah. day. Yeah, it's Magic Johnson day, June 5th. That guy really have AIDS. I mean, Who knows? I didn't give him those AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> and when he had those AIDS, <laughs> I like to help minorities. And when he had those AIDS, I went to my synagogue and I prayed for him. Um, LGBT Pride Month is June in America. Um, Pulse, that's the one I was confused that's with. The one. Yep. You got it right. Okay. okay, cool. So I must have read. I knew the, the June Brazil was a gay one. month. That's the big one. Okay, so October. Where was I getting October? That was, uh, I think, uh, some other type Country? of the same been. thing. <laughs> could have been. Could have been. Could have been. Um, October LGBT History Month. That is. Is there a day on a calendar that isn't celebrated? Um, not really. Not really. Uh, Pulse Night of Remembrance is June twelfth. Uh, yep. Spirit Day, the third Thursday in October. Um, so this pissed me off. Support for LGBTQ plus youth who are victims of bullying. How about any kids who are bullied? Right. Yeah. Right. Bullying is wrong. And by the way, this is sneaky the way you do this. In, in a weird way, that's a form of bullying. It is. To separate out like, oh, gay kids being bullied. Lots of kids are bullied. In right. fact, most kids at some point in their life were bullied. Right. And it's wrong. It's it's painful it can last with someone they can carry that with them for the remainder of their life yeah being bullied right you get bullied the wrong way by the wrong person that can really fuck someone up for the remainder of their life yeah and so if you're gonna categorize and be like oh these special flowers over here because they fit into one of our fucking made up categories they get a special remember well maybe it makes kids go well fuck i'll just identify as one of those yeah, not even that i think it's the, the opposite because coming as gross yeah. um <laughs> just going up through high school and stuff like that whenever you had an anti-bullying towards a certain type of person that usually just was like a call out for all the kids to bully that person more that day which wait say that again so like if you had like a don't bully gay people day or it was like a big thing like don't bully gay people on this day in particular yeah i know a huge group of kids probably me included who would take that <laughs> as the day to go talk shit to the gay people yeah just because it'd be funnier on that day yeah yeah it's it's just ugh. The Stonewall Riots anniversary. I don't really have a problem with that. That kind of... Yeah, um, well, anniversaries are different. You're not really celebrating. It's like yeah. the Pearl Harbor anniversary. So you remember right. it. It's like, oh, yeah, that is the thing that happened. Even Pulse Night of Remembrance. Yeah. I don't know that we no, I'm not bad nationally that celebrate no, but, that. But if you're down in, in the Florida, area... Yeah, if you're Florida, in the area or whatever, go drop a... That was Orlando, flowers at the right? Place. Yeah. Wasn't that Orlando? Yeah, I think yeah. it was Orlando. Yep. And I think it was a confused gay guy that did that. Yep. Wasn't it? That, that yeah, I think he shooting? came out like non-binary afterwards or something like that. They said he was um, trans or something. Yeah, there was something about it. Stonewall riots, a day of remembrance. Stonewall riots. This, this goes back to the 60, like 69. They say it's the birth of the gay rights movement where um, a bunch of gay people were hanging out in a club in New York, I believe, in the Stone, Stonehall, right? Yeah. Um, and Stonewall Inn. And 
cops raided it and beat the shit out of a lot of people and it and it kind of gotcha. gave it kind of gave nat if i'm getting the story right it gave national prominence to like this is bullshit yeah don't how do you the have head. these thugs coming in and beating See, you know that to me is something i could like yeah. you said i could understand like right going like hey and it's this the was anniversary a big, a pivotal time that yeah. a lot came out of this or it, whatever they say it sparked the gay gay rights so there you go that. like that would twisted be... g was out there knocking heads that night hell yeah he was I don't know who that is. <laughs> you've seen one fag, then you've seen them all. Once you've seen you know, one fag, then you've seen them all. Gangsta fag. He's a rapper. Gotcha. Yeah. Or, Garrett and I are big fans of gangsta. Okay. Oh, yeah. Transgender History Month is August. So not only are you people visible enough, you're annoying as fuck enough. I, I'll be an ally, but don't give me pages worth of shit. And this is a small list. I've done a longer list before about your holidays. It's enough. We see you. You're visible. You're very, very visible. Yep. Not I know I'm a terrible that. person because I was looking at the Pulse I nightclub. saw you laughing over there. I no, and here's the worst part. And here's how I know I'm a terrible person is I looked at the weapons he used and I was like, oh, nice kit. <laughs> like he shot a bunch <laughs> of gay people and I'm sitting here complimenting his guns. Ooh, what did he have? He had a SIG MCX and a Glock 17. So he had a handgun and a, um, and a long a rifle? Sig, it's kind of a long rifle. They're small. They're almost pistols if you don't put a brace on them or anything like that. Yeah, well, that's the M X? Did yeah, the say? MCX. They're, MCX. Uh, they're 9 millimeter most times. Sometimes they come in 5.56, five, but here you go. It's a nice oh, kit. Yeah. Like, that's an expensive little little yeah. guy there. I feel like that barrel would get so hot. Oh, yeah. If you were grabbing that. Cause yeah, you it, grab well, you wouldn't it. grab it at the barrel. No, well, you'd, well, you're not, well that's what this handguard's here for. That handguard looks yeah. like it'd get very no, hot. No, it doesn't get hot. It all stays up in here, and the gas usually is coming up here, oh, so that's so where it gets that's hot. that's the barrel. I was thinking yeah. that was the barrel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. I was just like, nice kit. I know those are expensive. Yeah. Um, all right, on to fat people again. Lizzo apparently is done. Oh, yeah. canceled again? Yeah, she's, she's signaling she might be done. And I, I don't understand this one. So she did that event with the, um, uh, the, the Weekend at Bernie's event where Obama and Bill Clinton held up Joe Biden. Yeah. And they, they, they made like $26 million. Huh. You know, it was like five, some tickets were $500,000 oh, yeah. each. Yeah, like Colbert was talking donate. there and yeah, shit. Yeah, Colbert was there, piece of shit. But anyways, Lizzo performed, and she did something. She's on her back with her legs spread. The photo is horrifying. Yeah, yeah. I saw it, and I was just like, oh, God. Why would you do that to me? I need a, I need a, a day of visibility to get over that. Yeah. That's why I, I need a day. It was terrible. Um, maybe you can find the picture. Um, Lizzo signaled she might be done with either her music career or being on social media because she's getting mocked. I see both. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, and if she had some killer voice, if Lizzo had, you know, the voice of an angel, I'd be like, whatever. She's fat. Who cares? We've had fat people Like Adele, singers. right? Wasn't Adele big? Adele's got an amazing voice. Aretha Franklin yeah. is yeah, huge yeah. and had an amazing voice. Well, that's my thing with Lizzo. I don't think she just Lizzo kind of does. sounds like a lot of other people. Yeah. Lizzo does not have an amazing voice when I hear her sing. I watched part of her HBO thing. I, I pried my eyes open and I watched some of it and I was like, the, the, my mom and dad were watching it with me, and they were both like, yeah, I don't think her voice is that good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd never heard her voice, but yeah, it's not. You know, it's it's, it's not, pretty standard. It's certainly in like no female, Adele. It's yeah. not what you think of as like, wow, that's a yeah. voice. All I want is to make music and make people happy and, and help the world that. be a little better than how I found it. Then do exactly. that. Exactly. You could have done that. You know, I'm not, this is, seems, I know this seems like I'm shoehorning this in, but at some point, she's made a point, she's got to the level that she's making money anyway. Like, someone like me would yeah. love to fucking, you know, make that money, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if that's really what her thing is, then just fucking do that. Do that. Do that. That's Nobody's what I fucking stopping do. you from doing that. I get to fucking go around. I've done some shit in the last few years. I talk about it. A few people listen. Not yeah. as many as I wish, but it is what it is. I think it's fun. Then do that. And she's already fucking there, by the way. Yeah. So, so what? You're getting bullied on fucking... Yeah. Fuck off. Anybody that gets to that and level by the way, is getting get bullied constantly. Media. Stop being on social media. Get Don't social media. that shit. She's big enough that she doesn't have to do that. Or she could have someone run a page for her and never look at it. Yeah. Or to only give her the good stuff. Yeah. Just say, oh my God, these people all love you. All I want is to make music and make people happy and make the world better, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. No, it isn't. All, all I see you doing is promoting fatness. Yeah. It's yep. not about just making music and making people happy. I'm just no, being you're myself a lightning and living rod. my truth. <laughs> you're a lightning rod for something that a lot of experts agree could be the death of this country, which is trying to figure out how you cover insurance prices for a country that is slovenly fat. Yeah, where the whole fucking the, the, at some point it tips, and you're dealing with long-term health issues. And look, I 
I'm, I'm nobody, no champion for running marathons and healthy diets and healthy living. But I'm also not out there bragging about my fucking lifestyle and how yeah, it's good yeah. for people. Right. It's not. It's horrible for people. Eating processed food is horrible for people. Be, being a slob is not good for anybody. So don't act like you're just trying to make music and make people happy and all you're getting. Because you're shit. already doing that. Yeah. You do. You're do doing that. it right now. Exactly. Hypothetically, I don't listen to her, but you, but right. a lot of people do. A lot of people do. So all I want to do is make people happy. You're already doing that. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look, my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and dis disrespecting my name. I didn't sign up for this shit. I quit. Well, yeah, you yes, did sign you did. up for this shit. You did sign You're That's famous, Lizzo. This is what comes with yeah, fame. Yeah. And she's becoming like... Oh my God, I was, I was walking down the street. I saw two Lizzo's out for a walk the other day. Like yeah, she's becoming, yeah. you know, one of those. You know what the reality is? This just shows you how she's not, she doesn't like her body. She's not comfortable, which no. is fine, by the way. Yeah. All of us, almost. Well, you know, she tried all the diet. No, all of us are She tried all the diet and her fans insecure. turned on her. Yeah, yeah. So her own fans were turning on her because she started trying the diet. She backed herself into a corner. Didn't right. she lose like 60 pounds? She lost 60 pounds, yeah, you recently. You wouldn't notice. No, you know. it looked but, pretty similar. But the but. thing is like, I know I just repeated myself, but you're already doing it. Have someone fucking run your shit. Don't worry about the negative shit. Yep. And just keep fucking singing. Keep churning You're already money. there. She goes on. Uh, last summer, she said, I hate it here. Y'all don't know how close I be to giving up on everyone and quitting and enjoying my money and my man on a fucking farm. Then go do that. Yeah. Go do that. And Nobody's then, get, and then get off social media. Y'all really need to touch grass. I'm not trying to be fast. They say See, paint the spots on getting the See, cow wait, wait. pen. Enjoy your farm. Yeah, this exactly. Is where, this is I know. It opens itself up for the jokes. This is where she's she's at the point where she, what she's doing is begging us to tell her how awesome she is yeah. and how much we need her. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I know. that's what it sounds like. And it's like, it, you're right. You're right. Dude, because otherwise, she does have money now. <laughs> Go get a fucking house. Get off social media forever. She could probably live her whole life and never work a job yeah. again. Yeah, probably. So then oh, she definitely do, could. Oh, 100%. So then yeah. go do that then. I'm literally just trying to live and be healthy. Well, then go do that. Yeah. Wait a minute. To whoa, ease, whoa. When, to ease point. Yep. When were you trying to live and be healthy? What, in right six now. months? Right now. For one short period of time? No, always. When she what was about huge. that time when yeah. you were fucking telling everybody that it was, I, I don't care how fat I am? This is what my body looks like even when I'm eating super clean and working out. Well, it takes a long time. No Being offense. Being fat is what my body looks like. That's it. That's all. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. I'm sorry. Like I believe I don't that there believe are bigger that. You, people. Of course there are, but yeah. she wouldn't look like that. That looks like... No, she's not. I, I, she's I got want, enough fat in her face that her. it's been that's, there for a while. It's mean. I don't, I don't want to fucking pile on too much, but I... I don't believe that's truthful. That you're no. just working out, eating healthy as shit, working out. You know why it's not and... truthful? Because if it was, she would have already been saying that all along. Yeah. yeah. She would have been like, hey, I want to get awareness out there. I know people see me and they have a perception of me. Yeah. But honestly, look at this. Yeah. I have a I have a trainer. I go yeah. through this, so we should all realize. Here she can even like point out her day. dances, her performances. You like, can... look, I do work out a lot. You know, yeah. I just and, have this problem. And that would be a great message if she had been, but she wasn't. So no. she says, I'm eating healthy. I don't, you guys don't, it's no. yeah, for six No, she months. released a line of uh, lingerie for fat people exclusively. Yeah. So that's not what you were doing. Exactly. Sorry, I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it, I get the feeling, and people could correct me if I'm wrong. Walters at DetroitCast.com. Feel free to write in. You act like being fat is a winning formula. Yeah. Like, fat people can do anything. Well, th no, they can't. No, they cannot. No, we're done with fat people. It's gay people now. Yeah. <laughs> She constantly talked about how awesome being fat was. And it's not. That is a lie. That, to me, feels like something people say to, like, act like, oh, totally cool with this. Again, it goes back to, if you could snap your fingers and be fucking thin, of course you would. You know, the reality Everybody is would. You'd have to be a mental fucking patient not to. Can I feel snap that my way. fingers and, like, gain a few pounds? Yeah, right? That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it'll come. Good genes. It'll come. <laughs> oh, no, it'll hit. If you, if you, it depends on what your, what's your diet fat? and shit Are is. Are you worried about skinny fat? I, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I fucking was last year, 100%. Yeah. You know, I was. I would I mean, describe myself as I give my dad fat. some credit. He's kept it well-maintained, like, physically and shit like that. Yeah. But he did say he hit a point when he was 30, and he was eating like he was 20, and it was just hitting. It was just yeah. all oh, fat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Can't, can't, as soon as he hit 30, it just turned all fat. He's like, now I got to fucking watch my shit. You yeah. can't outrun, You can't outwork a bad diet. I know not to be weird I about know. that, but you can't. It yeah. has, you can, you can kind of eat a little better if you're working out, but, yeah. you know, but not really. No, I got Marina with me. She's been cooking, and she's on a whole diet thing right now. So it's, like, kind of yeah. like whatever she's cooking is what I eat, and yeah. that's why I'm yeah. doing well. And like, you I'm, know, I'm eating way better these days. Uh, 
like when you talk about it, and I'm not, look, at, I, I hate even, I've hated talking about it. I've hated talking about the fact that I lost a lot of weight in the last year because it's like, it seems like, um, you so, were you were gearing up for that for a long, I, long time, but but I'm but, but you were you were doing that ten years ago, like eating veggie subs and with yeah. wheat bread. But, but you've also been really, like a runner your whole life and stuff. Yeah, you know, but we, we used yeah. to talk about being the, the uh, doughy and supple. It yeah. also yeah. caught on me for a long time. And at, at the end of that yeah. trip last year, I was fucking at a bad place. I was in a. I was, well, dude, you were on the road for a year eating, eating garbage, yeah. eating garbage. garbage. Yeah. But my point of saying that, my point of saying that is like, it was what I just said before. If she was already. You, I understand that you can be you can be a bigger person and be working out. She wasn't doing that. So when she sits there and talks about eating healthy and bullshit, she did yeah. it for six months. Yeah. It took me a fucking year. A year. And I wasn't even nearly yeah. what some people would consider fat. And it took like a year of getting used to like, no, dude, you just don't eat this shit anymore. Or whatever that is. Yeah. So yeah. for her going on about this bullshit, it's wrong. She's lying. Yeah. I, that's how I always felt. It felt, always felt disingenuous to me. And it's like, oh, you're going on stage and you need six absolute tanks on stage yeah. dancing with you it's like a it would look absurd if you had six hot chicks behind you which is the norm most dancers are not huge no now we've all seen cheerleaders and we've all seen dancers that you can tell they come from a family of bigger people and they can be very athletic they can kick high they can do all that but they're just bigger people and they're going to struggle with that yeah they just they're bigger human beings but they still look like yeah, that girl can hold her own. She yeah. can she you, can fucking dance. She can do that. Lizzo's team looked like they were a heart attack on stage. Yeah. That's what it looked like. Like these people They were one wrong move from a broken angle. Yeah, and and to parade that, like, I don't know, I'm kind of torn because I get it. Like you for some people, it's like that's your champion. But I think it's a very, very unhealthy existence to push on young people. Like Hey, it's fine if you're 13 years old and you're a mammoth. Like, I look at people and it's like, you know, I, I knew people and they'd poke fun at me. They're like, yeah, oh, you're fat. Huh? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, when I was your age and for 30 years after, yeah, yeah. I was fucking shredded compared to you. It's like, this didn't Fuck. hit till the old age. Do you think, okay, you, you think I'm pudgy now, 12 year old? You're fat now. Yeah. I was never fat at 12. Right. Or at 22 or 32. Yeah. Or, you know, it, 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 it took, and I ate anything I wanted yeah. ev any right. day I wanted. Yeah. And it took till I was 40 yep. before it was like, all right. Oh, better, fuck. Better, That's why I said, it's I probably, I'm probably going to hit a wall about 30. Now, I, was not, I was never in my 30s and 40s going to have a ripped six pack. Yeah. I wasn't that guy because I ate like shit. Yeah. But I still wasn't fat. I see these kids now and I'm like, ah, I, like your metabolism is racing right now. What are you going to do when you're 30? Yeah. When you're 35, 40, this it's is going McDonald's to be McDonald's and processed food. Holy shit. It's the man. sugar. Dude, there was usually like one or two fat kids in school when yeah. I was growing up. That was it. It was rare. Yeah. Super rare. Most kids were way more active, obviously. Yep. And, and I don't know, man, but just giving your kids whatever they want to eat. And it's fucking, it's wild. It's wild. And she would have, I already said it, but she would have been out there if five years ago, she wouldn't have been champion, like, like he said, fucking making fat person laundry. She would have been <laughs> saying, hey man, this is, should be a lesson to people. I'm a bigger girl. Yeah. For real, I have a dietitian. I work out six days a week. I've, she I, has said stuff like that. And I don't, I don't unless, like she, unless she came out and said, look, I was someone born with a severe glandular yeah. issue and and that's why no matter what I do, I'm always going to struggle with weight issues, blah, blah, blah. If I try my best, that, but she, this is, then, then, then she'd probably get a lot of respect for it. A probably. Ton, of course she would. Of a ton of it. Which yeah. is kind of a and You could lean on it, too. Own way, oh, a, ton of, <laughs> a ton of respect for that. 2,000 pounds. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if she was, then you, then you have an awareness day. And it's like, yeah. hey, it's, uh, it's glandular issues awareness day. And Lizzo's your spokesperson. Exactly. And, and people would champion she, that. She, yes. And she goes on and does commercials and says healthy diet is really important for someone like me that throws. It's even you know, more important people, almost because. It, then it would just be assholes who make fun of her. Yeah. It would just be trolls and assholes that make fun of her. Instead, what she feels is the whole weight of the world <laughs> everybody must be fat but it's because she does it there's nobody on tv that's just like a a really fat person that you know is is self-conscious about yep. it and is trying it's not the way to the world i'm not it's making fun of that over. person ever i don't make fun of that person i just don't it's it's the i'm fat and beautiful and you know it blah blah everybody wants to fuck this but you're like no, no. you're a fucking pig stop it
I mean, just it, for it. example, by the way, not that it matters, but like I've heard that what Taylor Taylor Swift getting ready for this big Eras tour is she would fucking essentially who Taylor, Taylor Swift oh yeah, yeah would yeah. run a marathon yeah. on a treadmill oh, I singing bet. her songs I bet and yeah. that's how she got in shape yeah I'm not saying everyone has to do that but that's what she did and that's yeah. why she looks like she looks I'm yeah. sorry all right you guys do read I got, I'm gonna piss my pants all right so, so. who wants to go ah. first <laughs> yeah I'll go first <laughs> This part of the show is brought to you by Your Insurance Expert. Are you paying too much for health insurance? Are you uninsured? Health insurance can be confusing. Nick Matthews from Your Insurance Expert is an expert in health insurance, life insurance, and Medicare supplements, so you don't have to be. Call Nick Matthews at 248-914-1173. That's 248-914-1173. This show is also this part of the show is also brought to you by the back. You need to do this one because you've been there before. The back Eric court. Just spit it out already. Back court restaurant in Clarkston, located in Deer in the, in the Deer Lake Athletic Club. The back court combines first class service with a relaxed fit, friendly atmosphere, and chef inspired menu. They have a daily. St- God, I've had a hard time today. They have daily <laughs> dinner specials throughout the week. Live music on Friday nights and Friday and Saturdays. The best damn pork rib in town. <laughs> So next time you're out, you're heading out for dinner and drinks, stop by the Back Court Restaurant in Clarkston. Call Eric, them at 248. I think it's time for a new career choice. It's coming. 625-8686 <laughs> or visit DeerLakeAthleticClub.com. Good job, guys. Not Thank bad. Easy you've done better. But I, yeah. That was the worst one I've been since I've been back. Yeah, that was. I bet it, That'll I'll be the I'll last be. one you do. <laughs> but you end up stretching it out and you get the commercial ends up going way longer. Exactly. The commercial? Commercial. <sighs> <laughs> um, I, I want to talk to this guy, Jonathan Haidt. He's a social psychologist from NYU. I heard an interview with him. I've heard a couple interviews with him, actually. And he's he gave another interview, and he's talking about Generation Z, which is, which is my gen. Know. Okay. Your gen. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm the cutoff of millennial and uh, Gen Z, so I'm kind of like that weird middle ground that yeah. doesn't fit when either it, one. What is after that? Is so a little gen- younger than you would be? Uh, anything younger than me is Gen Z, and then anything older than me is millennial. Okay. There's not another one yet? No, I think so. It's just coming up. It's like Generation Alpha. Is oh, the yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, I've heard about that, and they're going to be That's a, like, right, a right, problem. Right. The real problem. Oh, Gen Z is a problem. Yes. So he talked about this. He might have done an interview with Rogan. That might have been what I heard, in it, which would have been a lot more extensive. But he's talking about, he's got a, his new book, The Anxious Generation, How the Great Rewiring of Childhood is Causing an Epidemic of Mental Illness. This is a problem going forward and it needs to be addressed i was really glad i was talking to uh g yesterday and he's like hey just wanted to let you know we're i think we're um we had a conversation with marshall and i think we're taking his phone away he didn't he didn't do anything wrong yeah but it's we're we're learning more and more and it's like yeah welcome to the party pal yeah uh this has been a problem for a long time i was about to say i got my uh my first bit of fan mail the other day just did somebody messaging saying hey great job on the show yeah nice and so it's like well i think that i do want to let everybody know i don't check social media and all my notifications are turned off on everything except for text so i will read them when i get to them but I don't check social media as regularly, so it might take a minute. So this guy says, uh, he explained the Great Rewriting refers to a five-year period between 2010 and 2015. So the iPhone originally came out in 07. (laughs) Yep. That's And I I had the first iPhone. Uh, I remember that. Mark and I got it the day it came out. Yeah, yeah. And Mm. yeah, oh, for sure. Dude, we were always first in line for everything. New PlayStation's coming out. uh, Always. So, uh, so that came out in 07. So this is talking about the time period between 2010 and 2015 when society fundamentally changed for adolescents with the emergence of the smartphone. So I remember in 2010, it was like, look how cool this is, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Yep. But apps weren't really a thing yet. There were certain ones that came yep. with the phone. Um, in 2010, people had flip phones. I had the StarTac. I love that thing. Yeah. I had the Nextel. Yeah. Chirp- a little beeper. Yeah, I, I love that thing. Um, I love you my want to feel tech. old. I thought I thought I was the shit with my stuff. You want to feel old? That chirp is used in retro songs now. That Nextel uh, chirp. Really? Yep. Yeah. I hear it all the time in a production. That, that's not what makes me shit. feel old. Uh, I was say that's not. No, it makes me feel a little old because I remember hearing that all the time as a kid. I'm like, really? oh, now it's using like as like a classic throwback beat. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. I well, I haven't heard those songs, but yeah. Um, so you remember the chirp? Yeah. You do. My dad had one of those Nextel. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. 
Um, most did not have high-speed internet. Over the next five years, by 2015, most American teens have a smartphone with a front-facing camera, high-speed internet. They have an Instagram account or other social media, Snapchat, a bunch of other ones. And now in 2015, it's possible to spend almost every waking hour online, and many do. So my argument in the book is that all of a sudden, boom, in the blink of an eye, childhood became about sitting down and looking at a screen hour after hour, year after year. And that, I believe, is the major reason why rates of mental illness go skyrocketing from around 2012 to 2013. You know what's funny? No, I know this guy's I'm obviously a super smart dude and all that shit. Having said it, like what you just read there, it's like, duh. duh. Like, you don't duh. even need to be an expert. Uh, no, to, like, I know. It's like, but I get keep it. Keep in mind, though, E, we've been talking about this thing on, a, on this show yeah. for many years yeah. now. Yeah. You, and you could see it coming. Right. I mean, you could you gross. could see it coming. Gross. You're right. Um, <clears throat> so the very concept of social media, posting things that make you stand out because you're desperately fighting for attention, has been detrimental to adolescents because they are learning these behaviors during pr uh, puberty. So the millennials were basically through puberty by the time this great rewiring happens. That's why they're okay, I believe. The definition of Gen he's Z. I, I think he's right about that. Yeah. I've always said that I because say, yeah. I didn't have it in high school. Yeah. And so, you, so you're a millennial. So I yeah, did technically. I, I graduated in 2015. So this, what he's talking about, that cutoff where so it started getting bad, off, it, yeah. I am the cutoff right like, there as I, I graduated high school 2015. And you're on the good end of the cutoff. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't have an Ooh. iPhone, for example, until um, spring of 2013. So I didn't even have a smartphone wow. until 2013. Yeah, I don't no think I had a shit. smartphone Why? until I hit and high school. So I've been like 12, 13. I just never cared that much about what the news So it wasn't like and, your and to parents me, wouldn't let you no, get No, no. And to me, it wasn't the, the internet <laughs> wasn't like a... I still think it was like, to me, it wasn't that big of a deal. But Yeah. So this guy says, the definition of Gen Z, I would say, is that they went through puberty on super viral social media on a smartphone in their pocket yeah. that was giving them notifications and calling them away from whatever they were doing, calling them away from people, their friends. You can see them sitting in a lunchroom next to each other, each on their phone. That is not a way a human being can grow up. And that all happened between 2010 and 2015. Young people's brains were very vulnerable during this time period because it's the time when adolescents are supposed to be shaped by the adults in their lives into knowing how to act and how to make the transition into becoming an adult. We don't do that. Instead, what we do is hand you this device. This is about the worst thing you can imagine to give kids at the beginning of puberty. And the great rewiring radically altered the inputs in children, taking away most of what they used to do most of their older inputs, including other people sw and swapped in screens. Another mistake parents have made is being overly protective of children in the real world. The best kind of play is a group, mixed age group, out in the neighborhood. They make their own games, they make their own rules, they Those are the best their times. own rules. I totally remember that. Yeah. Um, if you would have had any friends at all, Jesus, you would have experienced I had too. a few in my neighborhood, but. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a fun last show for you if I didn't bust your balls. I know. Um, so that's how you basically mature for a democratic society. But beginning in the 80s, we began to get very afraid. Milk cartons with missing children on them. Even though true abduction is very rare, Americans get scared. They begin to clamp down on free play and childhood independence. And they think they're being good parents by always keeping them supervised. That's the safest thing to do. Well, it is safe in the sense that external, external harm won't come to them. But as rates of childhood death have gone down and down and down from all causes, they're now going up and up and up from suicide. We're blocking our children's development. So this is the other half of the story. The very sudden and complete replacement of a play-based childhood with the phone-based childhood. That's why all of a sudden in 2012, Gen Z gets anxious and depressed. There are a th few things in the, there are a few th a few things in the world that get better when you drop them and you have to drop them periodically. You have to challenge them. You, they have to face obstacles. So muscle and bone and the immune system are all anti-fragile. If you take it easy on your muscles, take it easy on your bones, they get weak and brittle. It's a principle of human psychology and we grow by being toughened. So that's why kids seek out risk and the possibility of getting hurt is actually part of what makes it beneficial because then they learn how to face risk and how to not get hurt. And the 90s, when we said no more risk, you're not going to do anything that possibly could get you hurt, we blocked that process and our kids began getting more fragile. The correlation between social media use and depression and anxiety are high among girls, very low among boys. So you're saying there's a difference between boys and girls. That's weird. Uh-oh. 
It's weird. I, I didn't think there was. No, I didn't think they were allowed to have that. Huh. You know, again, I got to say, the, I, I'm sure if you read his book or do his interview, he has some, I, but everything I, he's saying is just yeah. like, duh. Yeah. Well, you know it, what I mean? it goes like, on and on. I, I know what you're saying. The book and the interviews I've heard. I'm sure he gets deeper into it. I get it. why I said I'd like to talk to him yeah. because there's, there's much deeper stuff. And one of the things that parents think they're doing by um, giving kids screens and not letting them go out because stranger danger and parents today that grew up and say they've got, you know, like my brother or, or my sister that have, you know, preteen children. Yeah. Um, my sister's very hands on. It's like they don't walk to the park by themselves. Yeah. And, and I guarantee that's for fear of, well, what if? What if it's the lottery win and some guy in a white van grabs my kid, offers some, some candy or a pup, want to pet a puppy? And they get, but that's not how pedophiles and abductions are happening nowadays. No. They've learned. The people that are in jail for this have learned. We've interviewed them. We know. They know that going out in society is way more risky for them. It's so much easier on the internet. Oh, yeah. They go on the internet and they target your children. They get to lure them right to you. You don't have to drive around in a pedal van yeah. anymore. And so almost none of them do. Well, it's not There's even that. Almost it's a lot of these zero. guys, and this is a big problem right now that I've been seeing because I listen to a lot of these weird true crime podcasts. Uh, of it's you been do. these. Eh. Lots of women do. Yeah. Yeah, you're right there. Barely. But uh, no, what they've been doing recently is uh, they get these kids uh, that do things that they shouldn't be doing, and then they blackmail them to their parents. Oh, almost. 100%. And that's been the biggest like problem right now yeah. is these kids are getting blackmailed with, I'm going to send this to your school and it's going to go over to your friends. And yeah. you know, when you're 12, 13 years old, that's everything you know in life. You think Dude. it's all over at that point. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like, uh, meanwhile, that guy knows if he drops the picture, he's getting arrested for CP. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. I, I love talking to my sister. She, she's, she's, how did he take it? By the way, I'm just curious. When they, when they talked to the kid, did you ask how he took, how he took his dad saying, Hey, we're going to kind of limit this. Oh, way he more, was, or... he was kind of cool with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. He understood it. He Good. knew he wasn't in trouble and they're like, I think we're going to get him a fucking flip phone. Yeah. And just like, if he needs to yeah. make an emergency call, he can make a call. Yeah. No, um, I always, uh, my, I figured my he role... was too far deep. I figured Marshall was too into it that yeah. he would go. It would be a war. Yeah, trying to get that. No, the rule at our house was always you could have a smartphone, but is when you're under eighteen, your parents have access to it at any time. They can just yeah, no questions asked, just grab it, and look through it. Yeah, and I'm like, that's fair. Yeah, I know there's it's very fair. Yeah, very fair. completely fair. And and there's well, you they're paying no the phone bill. Well, the best anyways. part is like they're paying the phone bill anyways. They can just go yeah. into the back end and see what I'm doing anyways. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, but having that, but it, sh it shows that trust. Like, hey, great. let me see your yeah. phone. I'm like, here you go. Yeah. No, I love talking to my sister because she gives me all the gossip on what's going on yeah. because it reads hilarious. Yeah. Reed, Reed came running downstairs. You know, I was telling you guys about, it was like, you tried to kiss me. Yeah. You yeah. tried to give me like, I would have been the kid that just got kissed and then like buried it and like, yeah. oh my God, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm playing doctor with my boys and we're jacking each other off or something. <laughs> like I would have just been like, Argh. it's a surgery, dude. <laughs> yeah. It would have been bad, but Reed's like, he tried to kiss me. He tried to kiss me running downstairs. Like <laughs> yeah. he freaks out and, and, and laughs. Oh. Um, one of the kids in class is calling himself gay. Uh oh. Already. He says he's gay and he's like eight. Yeah. And no, he knows. Like, yeah. He he's got it. He doesn't. He's know got a handle on this. Means. He knows what it is. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> he doesn't have any idea what it means. That's nothing to do with people around him or what he's seeing online or maybe his favorite content creator on YouTube probably is gay. Yeah, maybe. Um, and my sister's like, I guarantee you he's not gay. Yeah. I know the kid. I've seen the kid. He, he's going to be one of those that's chasing chicks. I, yeah. I just, you can see it. They all have crushes on girls. He doesn't know what it even means. Yeah. But Reed came home and is like, Mom, what's 69? Oh, <laughs> boy. And she's like, a number? Uh, and he's like, no, what, what's 69 mean? Oh, my God. What do you do if Kaylee comes up and asks you that easy? I don't fucking. What do you do? Because you got to be prepared for this. Ask your mom. 69. <laughs> you know what? Time to talk to your mom. <laughs> Time to talk to your mom. Yeah. You go to your mom. Go ask your mom. Ask her. Ask uh, I have your mom and dad how yeah. often they do 69 and see what she says. <laughs> and then um, come and report back to me. Yeah, and then report back to me. Let I me always know. say it's the funny drug number. The funny drug number? Yeah, and then when people ask what's 420, you just go, oh, it's the sex number, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Usually uh, gives them a second, throws yeah. them off. Yeah. Well, so I would, I would she, answered, her she answered, she answered, said, Reed, yeah. there are some things, and I know what you, because kids in class are going, hey, teacher, What's 33 plus 33 ah. plus 5 minus 2? Trying to get the teacher to say 69. Yeah. Yeah. They all want to hear the teacher say 69 because that's fucking hilarious. Right. That's how stupid these little humans are. They're like, <laughs> someone's 69. <laughs> I mean, you're talking to somebody. I no, no, I, I find yeah. it hilarious. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Um, 
so yeah, uh, so so uh, my sister's like, look, Reed, you know that there are some things that are adult in nature, and this is one of those things. And the kids are being cheeky, and they're trying to get one over on the teacher. He's like, all right, I that's a really that. good answer. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, yeah, this is this is for adults. You don't need to know about this yet. Blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah. And then uh, apparently the kids are having moaning contests. Oh my god. We used to do those actually. Really? It's like the I'm penis like, what game. What the fuck is a moaning? Do you know contest? what the penis game is? Well, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. yeah, it's when you say, pe- whoever can say penis the loudest without getting in trouble wins the game. Oh, That's okay. different than moaning to me. It's kind of, this, they're doing the same thing in the moaning, where like one guy will start a little quieter and the next guy a little bit louder oh. and then a little bit louder. And whoever can get the loudest without getting in trouble wins. No, gotcha. these guys are all moan. These kids are moaning. Are they trying to like compare moans? Other? I don't know. But oh, Reed came weird. home and was like, or no, one of the kids was over and was moaning. Uh, and he's like two years younger than Reed. And he's known him his whole life, yeah. you know. But but he's like two years, so he's like seven. Oh my god! And he's moaning. And and Jin walks in, and is like, "Hey, knock it off, fuck face. What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. And the kid has no idea what he's doing, but he's doing sex moaning. Yeah, noises. yeah, yeah. And and I'm like, "What the hell do you say to that? How do you know they're not just moaning like, um, you know, right? You can tell like they're in it. pain or they're yeah. rolling. Like, how do you know what's? Why do you like?" If they don't have the mindset to go, oh, this is sex based, because Reed doesn't know what the fuck it means. Yeah. How why are you jumping to the conclusion that it's sex based? She's like, Oh, they know. They know what they're doing. And it's it's definitely yeah. sex based. Yeah. You know, and so she had to explain to him again that this is an adult thing that these kids are trying to do, blah, blah. blah. And he appreciated it. He was like, Okay, I get it now. I don't I'm not Yeah. I'm like, oh, moaning? It's what the fuck? I've never even heard of that with kids. Yeah. Wild. I, I I would say, luckily I'm not the dad because I really a lot of that shit, man. I yeah, don't know what I don't know what my sister's gonna do with some of this stuff. Yeah, dude. if you were a dad and the kid came up and he was like, "Hey, what's a 69?" You, you'd probably be like, "All right, take your clothes off and turn over. I'll show you." But that's it. I'm not trying to explain this to you. <laughs> I will say, I will say, I, I, I an interesting thing. I don't know what they're gonna do with phones themselves, but I do. I, I mentioned this before, but like. The very beginning, when they were they were letting her look at the phone a little more, like when they're changing diapers and shit, and they've backed off that already themselves. Yeah. So I wonder what they'll do when she's five, six, it's seven. It's really hard. My sister yeah. and um and I won't and say Jen anything. have they're rules gonna, they, where the kids have to do like set the table, help with dinner, finish yeah. your homework, yep. go outside and play for an hour with each other, blah blah blah, and, and then you then, can have thirty minutes of screen time, and it's good. like a big reward for yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Marshall, on the other hand, yeah. You know, it's just like, here, get the fuck out of here. You know, yeah. like, I get it because that's what I do. Yeah. It's what I do when I babysit him. I'm like, screens for everybody. Yeah. Uncle Mike Powers activated. I hope, like, I just don't know how it's going to go. I won't step in ever. Whatever she and Mark decide, that's yeah. fucking what will be it. But, like, I hope they go down the route of not just giving they her won't. a phone at seven. They I, won't. I, I, I no, think no, they no. won't either. It's going to be hard. What What's starting to happen is you're starting to have some schools that do it where it's like all cell phones are banned. And when you talk to those kids afterwards, I heard this doctor interviewed about okay. it. And when they've done this, they find that when they, they talk to like the it. children afterwards, yes, they do. They, they, they find out immediately the kids start talking to each other between classes. They start hanging out together at recess. They start uh, sharing lunch together and hanging out and talking. That's good. Like all that Not shit. What you want to bet they're all just back. gathering around and hold around the one person who stuck one their person phone in. Who stuck it, maybe. But it sounds like, and the the thing is, you can't just be like, I'm a good parent, so I'm taking the smartphone away from my kid. Yeah, no. then they're going to go to school and get bullied by all the kids who have the smartphones. Yeah, exactly. That's so you almost kid. need school-wide, yeah. like, hey, we're all playing by the same rules. You can have your phone after class. My school used to have a, uh, a light system. It was like green light, red, uh, yellow light, red light. And that was uh, green was you could have your phone anytime in class. Yellow was uh, when teacher approved. And red was not in class at all. You leave outside. All right. You and it kind of worked the out. The traffic right. light. Yeah, yeah, we had a little traffic but light. But you guys system. were all trying to scam the system. I oh, hundred percent. It. Yeah. It's easier if you just don't have it. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. You huh? just got to not. Yeah, have if you just it. don't have it, like certain comedy clubs, you can't. We're high come schoolers. In. They put we them just, in a pouch and we're high schoolers. We're trying yeah, to scam every course, system, dude. And if you didn't cheat using your smartphone in a test, you're a fucking moron. Oh yeah. Of course you did. Of course I cheated on computers. Yeah. Of course you guys did. All right, let's do some emails and get out of here. Oh, I got to go see Cece. Yeah. I haven't seen Cece all day. She's at my. She's at Graham's house. Oh. So I can't be here tonight. I can't or even see Tony night. anymore. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I had to when you were saying that. Um, Ryan Emery, new Patreon member. Uh-oh, wow. Ryan Emery, welcome to the party. Yeah, I put some fucking great 
uh, stuff in there this weekend. I heard some of it. Drew a mic pause. I think I got through, uh, speaking of 69, I got through the uh, guy who blew a .69 Dude, I blood thought alcohol. that was hilarious. How is that motherfucker alive? I know. That's what impressed right? me. Dude, I... I uh, Find out more on my Patreon. Brother, my brother blew something really fucking high <laughs> at point. And yeah. they were like, uh, blowing it. And he was just like, just, just... Just take me. Ah. Like, no, not bother. <laughs> this is 30 years ago, so don't get yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I would try to go for a high score. Uh, yeah, I, I want to say it was maybe in the first. Oh, Ooh. yeah, like no bullshit. That's like, crazy. Like, that's that's yeah. poisoning territory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Hey, Walters. Rules in child actors in film and television. I tried. I talked to you in the past when Jay was around. I work in film and can answer a lot of your queries about children on set and the rules and such. What you say about queers? Got a good trans story about a guy on film. I am kind of lazy about it. What? I would love to give you my number if you want to chat about it off or on air. Well, on. Yeah. Anyways, hope to hear from you. And then, um, yeah, um, I, would, I would chat with Brad. Yeah, send text that way, see what happens. Yeah, I don't know what else we need to know about child. I, I know there's a lot of rules, but, yeah. the, but the, if those rules are ignored or if those laws are ignored and people just brush it off because yeah. they think they know better, then those, those laws and rules... Uh, don't matter. Um, we do have, let's see, Mike, please make it stop. stop. I was shocked by pe- the amount of people I saw that were actually bummed about that. The drop? Yeah. I thought it was funny. I, I, I think it's fucking hilarious. I got some hate for it, too. Dude, <laughs> I actually texted Drew. I was like, dude. Have you heard the uh, alleged P. Diddy Meek Mill yeah. uh, fucking tape? I think that's what I texted him. And Drew's response was, hell yes, and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I don't care if it's him or not. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. It's funny. Like, exactly. It's hilarious. So, Mike, please make it stop. That drop is oh, 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 And I tense up every time you play it. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Which part? Is it this part, maybe? It's probably the ball slapping on the ass part. Uh, It kind of gets me, too, where it's really... Was it the uh, struggling to take dick? Yeah. uh, I heard... I was having some empathetic pains during that part. Yeah. (laughs) Also, you can go out the number attached to this email. It is different from my personal number. Bone job. P.S. Is the seller you're responsible for? Okay, this... Oh, well, we can give his cell phone out. Uh Uh-oh. 734-224-3166. That's for Connor. Call him, blow you him up. Need a realtor, blow him up. Yeah, he's he's good. He's smart. You you guys have seen his emails. Send him terrible Zillow listings. Yeah. Um, why don't we leave it there? We'll do more tomorrow. Um, I've got a couple more. I'm not emails, ready for but... tomorrow. I've no. already been voluntold to go into work early. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like got to get well, there at six. Drive to Lansing from there. Drop keep, off some shit. Keep your phone close because uh, who knows what are, the situation will be around. Yeah, here. I'm doing my best, everybody. Um, Isis. It's been an awesome fucking 11, 12 years here. <laughs> yeah, with crazy. Man. Honestly, it has. And um, I got to be here for part of it. Yeah, you did. You've been a, you've been listening for a long time. So yeah, you've been a, I think you've been uh, aware of it for forever. 2014 is when I started listening because I was still in high school towards the tail end. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. 14, yeah. 15 is when I started in. Yeah. yeah. So we were, we fucking started crazy, in 13. Dude. So yeah. yeah, you didn't miss much. Wild. Um, yeah, you really must have really shitty years of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people think these were bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, the coolest part is these is people grew to fucking love you outside of that Connor. is nice. That, and yeah. going out on Connor's emails. No, nah, but even Connor kind of likes you a little bit. He's got it's like that annoying little brother love. I feel. Uh, I, can I don't feel know. It. I don't know where. How, yeah. I don't know. We'll nah. Is he nice to you at events when he's? I don't seen remember. You? It, Has he been at events? I don't I'm sure remember. He he'll give you yeah, a yeah, hard yeah, time, yeah. but I'm sure he'll pick you up if you fell over. He would after laughing. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good dude. Well, Isis, it's been fun. Well, well thank is, you, thank you. This is not the last time we'll be. Oh no, I, I actually got to sure. I got so. no for sure. I got. I'm going to tell you about something off when you're done. Okay, for next year even. So okay, no, for sure. Yeah, um, I'll be around. Just, of course. Hey, if people could please, oh, by the way, <laughs> if you could please check out my eVenture cast on Spotify. I was just going to get to that, okay. yeah. fucker. You ruined it because oh, I was just going to tell you to plug it. So okay, I'm kidding. Oh, Fuck you, come on. Go ahead. What is it? E-Venture? The, the E Venture cast. You yeah, know, Spotify, E-Venture. iTunes. It's uh, every Saturday, every other Saturday, I should say, I guess. And uh, back with Amy this last week. She's finally back on it. And so that's cool and shit. So yeah, follow me along. I'll be on Mackinac Island all for a whole year this time, doing the summer and the winter. So Ooh. Ooh. I didn't even know they were. Are they open in the yeah, winter? Yeah, it is not an amusement park. I know people, it is open in the winter, just not as many people go up there. Although it's starting to get more popular in the winter. 
Like everything. I people, see like yeah. skiing and shit and hiking. There's I, I well you can't really ski. You could cross country. No, you're ski. right. Yeah, you yeah, can cross you country. country ski and hiking and shit and yeah, snowmobiles if you have one. Oh, yeah. snowmobiling and shit like that. But anyway, yeah, check it out. I re- appreciate it. I think it's getting better. It's you know I feel like I'm doing better at it than I did two years ago. So yeah, there you go. There well, you maybe go. maybe I'll I'll even be a guest on it. Uh oh, you know, interview Mike. Get the you have dive. technically been on the episode several times back in the day. Remember yeah, I'd come back over in here? The day. Yeah, 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 when I would come I over here. Then you kicked me off it. Just kidding. All right, everybody, send your emails, Walters at DetroitCast.com. And, yeah, unfortunately, this is Ease's last time in this particular studio. For, for That's wild. This it really is wild. Yeah, it is. It's, it's been a long time. We've had a lot of fun. And, um, obviously, uh, Garrett and I will still be here. But oh, yeah. yeah. is headed I ain't going up anywhere. This week. So um, we'll get you on uh, through Zoom and, and the magic yeah, of, yeah. Uh, cameras and whatnot. For sure, but, for uh, sure. Yeah. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day. Send your emails, walters at DetroitCast.com. We love reading them. Comment on Garrett, comment on AE, me, whatever. And um, we'll leave it there. We'll uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. I think we can pull it off. So um, hopefully we'll see you then.